Fuego Del Sol. Taz, I gotta ask you, is that Action Bronson? That's Action Bronson. Good friend of Hook, good friend of mine. It's apropos. Here we go. Fuego Del Sol and Hook. They said send Hook, I sent him. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Fire it up, I gotta chill a little bit. <laughs> Car and elbow tie up, center of the ring. Hook, nice drop step. Goes behind. Nice trip and hook into the front chancery. He's grappled his whole life for playing judo, jiu-jitsu, and throughout his youth as an amateur wrestler. Ooh, nice! That's a Koshi Garuma right there. Into a north-south choke. Pop the hip and Fuego desperately making it to the bottom rope to force the break. And look at this hook. Walking down referee Bryce Remsburg. He don't like many points. Watch Whoa. out here! Look at this! Fuego, that's all right, that's all right. Fuego ducks underneath. That's a Sayanagi right there upon Sayanagi. He's not done, brother. Oh, just takes Fuego down and... Hook rolls through, captures the ankle. And look at this. That's a freestyle bow and arrow. Fuego firing the point of his elbow into the ribs of Hook. Well, that's a good job by Fuego there. He knew he was caught. Ooh, it's a ridge hand chop right to the side of the head, bro. Hook is aggressive. He is coming out of the gates hot here tonight. He don't like many people. And now just rights and lefts to the body, followed up by a big headbutt. We're talking about a guy, okay, who was a Division I athlete, a Division I lacrosse, lacrosse player at Bucknell University, a top 100 player in the country out of high school. And Fuego looking to turn the tables on Hook here. Hip toss, Hook Not lands so fast, on his feet. Bro. Nice go behind, and then Hook, look at this! A high cross takes... Takes Fuego over the top! He calls that the El Camino, bro. It's just a crotch lift suplex. He's had a tremendous back arch in his throw. And... Oh! Allowed Fuego a chance to get back into it, the posturing to the crowd. And Fuego explodes into the corner of the uppercut. No, Fuego's no joke. Be careful here now. Fuego charges in once again, spear to the midsection. Doubles Hook over. We might be going Tornado DDT here, Excalibur. Tornado DDT, Hook puts on the brakes and just flattens Fuego in the big time lariat. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, boys. And look at Hook. I mean, he is barely breathing heavy. His conditioning is I mean, that, that is otherworldly. He has trained his whole life. He's been athletic his whole life. Watch this, my friend. The high collar. Fuego taking over the top. I think it's the beginning of the end. The handsome devil is about to put out Fuego. Confidence on the face of Hook as he brings Fuego up. The cross faces. Well, he's, he's got the eyes of Fuego covered. Fuego can't even see him coming. And now, he's got the legs in, the grapes are in. He's got those grapevines in. And the, the cut to Hajime! And Fuego taps out! He's always watching, huh? Yeah, he can keep on watching. You see Bear Bronson, though, with a distinct size advantage on Hook, not somebody that Hook wants to underestimate. Well, listen, uh, and, and Hobbs and Stalks know this very well about his training, about what Hook can do and his judo background, his grappling background. And it doesn't matter what kind of size advantage someone has yep. when you have that kind of ability, as you see right there, oh. with that Kouchi Makakomi. And look at this, Hook trying for the single leg Boston Crab. Bronson makes it to the bottom row. Oh, he's just toying with him. He's a submission bully. <laughs> He's just playing with him, bro. Look at and, him. And Hook again. He don't care. He don't care. I'm a, <laughs> Hook, he's having fun, dude. Turning <laughs> his back on Bronson. But Hook now laying in body shots. Left and right in a massive headbutt. Light him up, Hook. Yeah, Hook, yeah he don't care. Well, watch out now, Wait big a man. Bronson put on the brakes. Hook now getting lit up in the corner. Well, Hook, yeah, Bronson's a big brawler for sure. Has more experience than Hook. This is Hook's second match. Sure. <laughs> we can keep saying that, but that don't matter to That's me. right. It doesn't matter. You saw Hook keeping those hands up high, exposing the body. I don't care who. That's 20 years of experience. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Oh. <laughs> nice high reaping Osoto Gary right there. And now the hammer lock into it. That's a modified sugar hold by Hook. That's exactly right. It's, a tw it's his twist on the old school sugar. He's got that arm hammer you can't see with that overhook. 
And Bronson with left with no choice to make it to the bottom rope to force the break. Looks all about keep oh, oh, cheap damn, shot. Was, yeah, well, that, that definitely was a nasty shot. Oh, the and, eyes. Hey, come on, ref. Now, Bronson's had enough of the disrespect from Hook. Take yeah, not frustrations out on his face. You're right. Oh, no. Oh, wait there, a minute. Bronson. Ricky, Ricky, no! Oh! Bronson what the just hell? spiked Hook. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who they're playing with, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you, they don't know. Let's go! <laughs> Hook just got dropped, and he's back on his feet. Bronson has oh. the ropes. Hook fires back on a clothesline. Shades about my man Hobbs right there, bro. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now Hook. Northern Lights with the release. Beautiful, baby. Doesn't matter if they're 200 pounds, 300 pounds. Damn it, bring on the 400 pounders. Hook with the waist lock. Bronson. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wait, the high collar. Oh, my God. Hook just planted Bronson. Side head and arm <laughs> suplex. Sometimes you got to, hand, got to land on your head on Christmas <laughs> Day. <laughs> and uh-oh, Hook. Oh, teeing off on the face of Bronson. The cross faces. The handsome devil's going to work. Going to work. And now looking for more cross faces in the red room. Easy day. locked in. <laughs> about QT Marshall <laughs> or Cody Rhodes. It didn't matter. Hell he didn't yeah. care about going down to Atlanta. He honed his craft in the Team Taz Dojo. Ricky Starks knows what I'm talking about. Absolutely. And look at him. He's a killer already. I love his look. I love his Edward Scissorhands haircut. I love everything about this guy. Hookamania is running wild, baby. And he walks to the center of the ring. He just occupies that area. Telling Aaron Solo, come at me. Don't touch the hair. Greco-Roman knuckle lock here. Solo, crafty vet, but Hook <laughs> just so powerful. Look at that. Brought oh. Solo up and over the top. I knew once he <laughs> locked those fingers, I had a feeling he was gonna go duck under into that throw. <laughs> I love it, man. And once again, keep this in mind. This is only Hook's third professional match. We talked about poise earlier. Hook has great presence in that ring for a guy with such little experience. Aaron Solo, a 12-year professional. Does the hook the standing Swiss outside trip there? He's got a, a power, almost a quarter Nelson. It's a half Nelson with an S grip as he controls quarter of the body of Solo. And you see Solo trying to hand fight with Hook. Now you're not breaking his grip. I can promise you Hook's Ain't grip. Ain't no way. It's not happening. Solo gets the boot on the bottom rope. Referee Bryce Rensburg calling for the break. So the thing is, like, with, with the whole QT Marshall thing, man, you know, he's, I guess he's just trying, I don't know, maybe he's trying to get the rub. I don't Whoa. know what it is, man. Massive. There's a rub for they you. Come out the woodwork, Pontaz. Yeah, exactly. He'll take you right out of commission there. Man. Oh, wait, look, QT Marshall grabbing the boot of Hook, trying uh, to take uh, Hook uh, off his game, and oh, Solo oh, capitalizes. Yeah. Damn it. There's your 12 years of experience right there. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. That's the oldest trick in the book, and it works. It works. But so it only works once for Hook, i tell you that. Solo saw the opening. He seized Ooh. on it. And Hook is rattled. This is the most trouble I think we've seen Hook in thus far in his short AEW career. Let's see if I'll oh, oh, nice drop Got step. Him. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Russian leg sweeping. It's a red hook with a leg sweep. <laughs> Transitions into the ground octopus hold. Look yeah. at that leg lock. Tough to get out of here. You're just lo every limb is basically locked up. You see Solo trying to push off that oh, right heel. Oh, oh, look up. at that. He almost caught him. Get off your back. Catch his ass. Oh, that oh whole hook just Ow. that ridge hand karate chop to the side of the head. Caught Solo on the base of the skull. Uh -oh. Standing switch, and uh -oh. here we go. Oh! El Camino. As the former tag partner for Aaron Solo, I want you to say he's no slouch. But man, Hook has got his number right now. Once he pops those hips, once he pops those hips, you're gonna go flying, I promise. Oh, nice job there by Solo. Damn it. Jawbreaker. Swing and a miss by Hook. High roundhouse kick avoided. Oh, oh, look at this one. I know this one. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that one. I know you can say QT Marshall you want. I know who trained him that hold. That's a Taz suplex if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Shoulder capture suplex, courtesy of the cold-hearted Hook. And oh. Hook very methodical as well. Look at those cross faces. 
I doubt his pulse is even above 95. He's very calm in his, in his violence. But he loves the violence, to your point, Chris. Look at the Legs are in. He is battering the jaw of Solo. And now the Red Rum is locked in, and That's Solo it. taps out. Great That's job. It. Serpentico. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Serpentico just got steamrolled by Hook. Hook's not having it. He's uh, caught up. You don't bring that disrespect. Look at this. Knee to the bread basket. The streamer's all over the place. Serpentico doesn't have time to take off his kimono. That was a Koshiguma right there, a hip wheel. And look oh, at this. Sayanagi right there upon Sayanagi. Hook is just decimating. Oh, my God. Serpentico, the STO. Look at this. Crowd eating up every single move Hook takes in that ring and gives. A double wrist lock, I think, right there into a double wrist lock takedown. That's a page out of the Billy Robinson playbook. That's sure. And Serpentico oh, scrambling two, to get the bottom rope to force the break. Probably the best thing he could have done in that position. I wonder if Hook's a big Billy Robinson fan. He's watched enough footage. Seriously, too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Boot to the face by Serpentico. Hook, though. Look at this one. Whoa. A big overhead throw. Once again, Serpentico hasn't had a chance to take off his kimono here. Hook's showing no mercy. Wait a hook. He's got it in. The red rum is in. This. <laughs> red rum and hook scores the win. And, and he's hanging on after the it's all bell. Shinoda. He's still got hey, his. Hey, hey, this is the exact crap I'm talking about. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. What? You idiots don't realize what he's doing. What's he doing out here? Hitting the guy before the bell, keeping the choke on too long. His dad's laughing about it. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. a delinquent. Hey, I'm talking wow. to you. That's his former teacher. Oh, you're teacher. tough now, huh? Like last time, you're gonna try to sucker punch me, huh? You're gonna try to, I'm ready now. I ain't no good. Wait, oh, my God. oh! That's a tough landing right there, QT. How calm Hook is. Sometimes I wonder if he even realizes he has a match. <laughs> He's just hanging around until he gets his hands on his opponent and it's done. Someone asked me one time, does Hook have a pulse? And I'd like to let you know. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't rise, I'll tell you that. <laughs> just ankle does. pick right there from a go behind. Totally disrespecting the man to send that message to the regional amateur wrestling champion. <laughs> That's right, Taz. If Hook can get in the head of Blake Lee, he may already. Be it. Oh, look at that sprawl. Oh, he took himself out right away. You never do that, Taz. Look at that, no, that's a quarter Nelson right there. Yeah, quarter Nelson off of the sprawl. Great technique by Hook. Is Blake Lee into the rope to force the break. Well, once again, Blake Lee might be one of QT Marshall's best students, but Ooh. he's not oh. really showing us much here. He's a punching bag for Hook right now. Well, even with that great amateur background, Hook was able to sprawl to block Blake Lee. Look at that, wow. goes through the hip toss, lands on his feet, Look the waist the lock. Oh, the El Camino! Oh. Explosive hips is the key to every throw. My man has been training for a lot of years to do these moves. Who's he been training with? Well, <laughs> yeah, Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And now, hook with Blake Lee in the corner. Look at oh. that! Oh, a huge Uchimata. That big reaping side throw, and now hook. Wow. Overhooking that arm right there, shoulder joint getting ripped up. He will dismantle you and dismember oh, you. Oh, and Kitsy, Kitsy Marshall getting up on the, on the ring apron. On the apron side, hook goes for the hook hook. You stay focused now. Uh-oh. That's what Marshall wants, though, Taz. He I, wants I to know. take his eye off the prize. I Remember, know. Hook already dumped QT Marshall once about three weeks ago when we were back in Washington, D.C. Oh, oh. Lee takes advantage. Go after him! Come on! Blake Lee. Oh, coming off the middle <laughs> rope. Hook just <laughs> effortlessly steps out of the way. What kind of a protege is that? <laughs> Jeez Louise, I think Hook's just... I'm talking wow. about just toying with his opponent. Hey, timing's everything, right? Hook, hook can care uh -oh. less. Uh -oh. Look at this. The high crotch. The T-bone. And... Oh! oh! Wow. What an overhead throw by Hook. It's a high crotch with a half waist. I mean, how many matches Hook had so far? Six, this, seven, this eight? Be, uh, five. Look at his boots. They're not even scuffed. Oh, the cross face. Well, Blakeland's jaw scuffed. That's my <laughs> point. Look, the Hook's just been breezing through these guys. His boots haven't even been worn out yet at all. He keeps them clean, baby. Oh, look at this. That's it. 
look at this. Rolls over into the Red Rum, and Blake Lee with no choice but to tap out. Red Rum, Red Rum. Works <laughs> again. Hook a man here, running wild, baby. No. His biggest test. He's not concerned at all. He has that same poker face. Yeah, nothing, uh, you know, it doesn't phase him. That's right. the thing. It doesn't, it doesn't matter that QT Marshall was his, he's one of his trainers. He wasn't his only trainer here. Let's, let's be honest here. One of his main trainers, for sure. There we see Hook with the disrespect, turns his back on his opponent. Boy, listen to the fans. Listen to the fans. Remember, we are just over 30 minutes away from Revolution coming up at the top of the hour live on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers, the all-new <laughs> Bleacher Report app and Fight.TV internationally. Real quick, just a simple go-behind, reverse ankle pick, and flattened out QT Marshall on his mush. Got to be a little humbling for QT Marshall. Look at this. Oh, hook! Oh, wow, hey, that's a Morote Sayanagi. You don't see that much. And now, bow and arrow. Yeah, he's got the... He's trying to get it. The ankle, the, the right ankle of, of QT Marshall captured. Freestyle bow and arrow attempt. QT was smart enough to get to the ropes. QT, a very, very competent, very accomplished wrestler over 18 years, uh -oh. or nearly 18 years of in-ring experience. But Hook delivering those... Vicious oh. body shots and a huge headbutt. How about a headbutt out of that? I think it's very smart by Hook. Let QT do the talking. Hook will do the wrestling here. He's all about action, Shivani, to your point. That's how Hook rolls, baby. Right. Uh oh, watch oh, out Hook. here. Man, he the so reversal. Quick. Grab the T bone yeah, straight out. T bone oh, and then QT Marshall sent spilling to the outside. The cold-hearted, handsome devil, Hook, has not even broken a sweat. He is way ahead of the curve for someone who has been in the ring just, what, just a few months? Just way ahead of the curve. Oh, look at this cute. Right he wants Hook? him on the floor here. He's trying to, trying to bait Hook into coming outside of the ring. Uh-uh. Hook does his work in the middle, baby. Yeah, Hook knows he can't win the match on the outside. Oh, oh. QT in his face. And... QT trying to... Oh, oh, there you go. Caught him with something and while the ref... I don't know what he... It got to, looked like maybe the throat. Yeah, Hook holding his throat and QT Marshall. This is where the experience of QT Marshall, the crafty veteran tricks, come into play. Absolutely. Got up against the ropes, got the referee's back turned, and you saw the result. Watch out! Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Pop Hook. those hips! The shoulder capture suplex on the floor. Good call, Taz. He popped him all right. But well, once he locked up that leg, right. those hips need to explode, and they did, which was perfect timing. And this sold out Edition Arena in Orlando, Florida, 100% behind Hook. And QT Marshall again. Oh. Oh. He grabbed the trunks, drove Hook face first into that middle turnbuckle pad. Well, no doubt QT's crafty. You, you, both of you guys laid that out, and it's a fact. He is. Better a move. And that's something that's, uh, you know, it's tough to prepare for in the gym. You're not it really is. really going over those little sly tactics of QT Marshall. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Ooh. Nice vertical suplex by QT Marshall. And QT drops the elbow, pointing the elbow onto the chest. Lateral press. Just a one count. Well, I don't think, I don't think our audience and the fans have noticed or have, have seen yet the resiliency and the toughness and the fortitude Hook has, I can assure you he can take punishment. Yeah, Taz, I don't have my stopwatch out, but I, it feels like this is Hook's longest longest match to date. But right now, the Northern Lights suplex, it could Got be him. over here. Got him. Two, no. Tremendous bridge by Hook. Belly button pointed toward the sky, but QT able to fire that shoulder up off the canvas. We, you know, we talk so much about the upper body strength of Hook that you can see. Oh, God. But how about how powerful and strong his legs are, man? Look at the development of those quads. Well, you're talking about, uh, you know, a former Division One athlete playing lacrosse, right? All he did was run up and down a field and take people out with a long stick. So, to your point, Tony, he's got those the quad strength. But right now, unfortunately, QT's in control here. I don't like this. Yeah, back suplex by QT Marshall. Set hook in the center of the ring. But QT getting his footing on the top rope, and QT sweeps off the legs. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think what happened was uh, uh, we missed a shot, but it looked like Hook, I think, hit those ropes and vibrated the next caliber. Uh oh, ho, 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 look at this. Uh, high collar and then the overhead throw by Hook. 
QT Marshall in the ropes. Hook, I think Hook maybe was trying to bring QT back towards center, thinking Red Rum perhaps. Yeah, I think he was. Uh oh. QT. Now he's calling for the diamond cutter. Diamond no, no, cutter. No, no, no. And we've seen how dangerous that can be time and time again, but Hook had it scouted. Wild swing and a miss by Hook. QT thought he was elevating yeah. over, but he walked right into Red Rum. Get the legs in. There you go. There you go. He did it. The hooks are in, and QT is tapping out. Anthony Henry, though, no slouch either. Oh, yeah, you're right, man. We've seen him compete here on Dynamite before as well. In AEW Dark, he is tremendously experienced, tremendously dangerous. Nice ankle pick, though, by Hook. Hook very, very quick. And that's thing that, uh, one of the things that really impressed me about him. The fact that he was a Division One athlete just big enough. But when you see him in the ring, you know he's special. Hook backs Henry up to the corner, looking right and left to the body and the driving knee. Look at how Hook is popping his hips, driving the hands both sides, right and left. No, no bridge, just an overhead throw by Hook. <laughs> Sterling and Nice taking notes. As Hook, Hook caught Henry with the lariat to the back of the head, just a clubbing shot. And now the cross faces, this could be the beginning of the end. I love this, this is physicality, not giving a damn, ready to tear somebody's Hook. head off. Dan Housen, he's been trying to curse Hook for weeks. It's been ineffective. And now Dan is just appearing. And Hook, impervious to it, he's locking in Red Rum. And Anthony Henry forced to tap. His dad won a lot of matches with that, that similar maneuver. And a great debut. Where is it? Yes, yes, that's enough. Oh my God. I have had enough to hear with you. You! You think you can trust Dan Housen week in and week out, decimating these hard body super fools? No! You don't want to be cursed by Dan Housen. You will fight Dan Housen. Dan hasn't realized and he just stepped in it. No respect. Well, obviously Hook giving up a, a lot of size here to a veteran in Big J.D. Drake, who's a tough SOB for sure. That's true, Taz, that, that yeah. veteran is the key word, J.D. Drake. Yeah, J.D. Drake is very impressive. And nearly 20 years of in-ring experience in Hook. And I'm a professional. I'm going to talk about J.D. Drake. I'm talking about Hook, even though I got attacked last week and Eddie Kingston threatened my life as J.D. Drake makes it to the ropes. He doesn't have to worry about getting attacked from behind, does he, Starks? No, not at all. Oh, the pie face. Oh. It's a hard chop there. Massive chop delivered by J.D. Drake. Hook asking for one more. Oh! <laughs> It's just a headbutt. Yeah, headbutt a chop? That works. I've never seen that before. That jab step. Nice Kouchi Makakomi right there. Quick feet. Smell oh. that. JD Drake, though, with the up kick. Knocks Hook off. Look at that. Again, the chop. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Avoided. That is a big man. The crowd responds accordingly. <laughs> they love him. He does his talking with his throws, Taz. Yeah, he soaks it in. He, good timing. Gets his hips low. And, Hook. and he's just rolling here, baby. This crowd going crazy for Hook. He's trying another one, oh, but nice, JD's smart. Nice block there. Flatten it out. That's Whoa. right. JD Drake, look at this. Whoa. Maybe reverse DDT. No. Oh, look at this. Hook floats behind. He's got the Beautiful. red rum. The oh. red rum is, is locked in. JD Drake is fading and tapping he's out. Gone. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Hook is undefeated again. Happy birthday. Oh, uh, winner of this match. Hook. Well, Hook. Scoring yet another win. Uh, and, uh, uh oh. What uh, the hell is this? Uh, Listen to this. Hello, uh, everyone. Crowd goes even uh, more crazy. Hook, it's Dan Housing. Yes, hello. You just decimated the Super Four here. That was quite wonderful. I don't know if you're watching before, though, but uh, that Tony Nice fellow, he seems to have challenged Dan Housing. 
And he, no doubt, shall have the one they call a menacing Mike Sterling in his corner. So, that being said, Dan Housen has a proposal for you. The crowd chanting Hookhausen already made their own shirts. Ah, oh, yes, Hookhausen. That sounds good. I think I made that up. That's a uh, yes. So, perhaps you could be in Danhausen's corner. What say you? It's clear what this sold out crowd in Baltimore wants. Come on. Oh, don't put your hands on them. No. Oh. Told you. <laughs> Love it. Hook better watch it, man. Dan has to throw some curses out on him. His hair will fall out. Well, we've seen that Hook is impervious to the curses. And he is... Oh, Hook. Look at that. He had a, he had a present. Oh. It's, it's, the... it's the birthday chips for his birthday, Taz. Well, obviously, Hook didn't realize that. Oh, wow. Well, you gotta, he, grabbed, he even put a, a bow on it. A little birthday bow on it. But Hook... Yeah, true, I appreciate you saying that, but you know, it's just, it, it, however the stars align, you gotta do what's in front of you. And I know Hook despises this guy, Neeks. And uh, seems like our live house here in Sin City is digging a handsome devil. Yeah. Tonight in our main event, Hangman Adam Page defends the AEW World Championship playing CM Punk, double or nothing, the main event. You can Listen, buy it Hook. right now at Bleach Report. Use the QR code at the bottom of your screen. That was a very quick Kauchi Gary right there. Um, Tough takedown. You need to get control. I really think that's at the issue of this whole tag team. The problem that Nice has had about the attention that Hook has received here in AEW, but Hook's attention has been not only well documented, it's been well earned because of how tremendous he has been in a short span. Nice is very upset with that. Danhausen tagging himself in, looking to avenge that loss. Nice is cracking up. He's not taking that. Well, remember, he, as you were pointing out, Excalibur. Nice beat Danhausen real quick. And it's about 32 seconds, I do believe, and now Danhausen head for the headlock here. Link. Takes a side headlock. Nice immediately backs Danhausen into the rope. Shoulder tackle. Nice runs through Danhausen. Just better be careful. I know that Danhausen and Hook have been training a little bit together. Right. Nice leapfrog there by the Danhausen. Uh oh. Whoa. Nice put on the brakes. Danhausen able to avoid contact. Showing some good quickness. Nice charges in. Got a little too ambitious a there. Too overzealous. You're right, Excalibur. And Danhausen fixing to curse him. Be careful. Be careful, Danhausen. And Nice charges oh, nice. in. Danhausen gets the boot up. Nice once again spun out. Danhausen. All right. Uh, he's not just a gimmick, brother. He can go. Oh, and Smart Mark Sterling tried to come in, and <laughs> but I think Smart Mark got got cursed. Oh, oh and Danhausen got trucked. Danhausen definitely trucked. Is the key word. This is not good, Shivani, for Danhausen. It's not good for Hook either. I mean, this would a loss here. I mean, would basically be the first blemish on Hook's impressive win-loss record. We have an announcement to make. We understand you've had problems getting on Bleach Report. We've been told that the Bleach Report app is now working up and working again. Thanks to everyone for their patience. You still have a chance to join us right at the top of the hour. On this is Sterling. I think they just ripped this guy. He better watch himself now. And you still have a chance to join us on pay-per-view and internationally on fight.tv do not you delay you up under eight minutes before we go live with double or nothing at the top of the hour That's right right now definitely Dan Houser's in a lot of trouble because Sterling and Nice they went back and forth with tags and they've singled out Dan Housen here I think uh, Tony Nice believes he has identified the weak link on the team of Hook and Danhausen. Well, they have the experience advantage. They come into this thing with a game plan, which I respect that. But Nice is a cocky, arrogant SOB. Talented as hell. He's a premier athlete for sure, though. Now, Sterling, he's just a jabroni, Tony. Couldn't said it better myself, Taz. Smart Mark Sterling. As Danhausen up. Well, that's a pretty 
decent suplex. Well not executed, a, well executed. Well, we saw that in that video montage recently. Missed the leg drop that Nice was working on that with Sterling, I believe. But now Hope seems to want to get in this match real quick here. Oh, wow. Can Ster Dan Housen get there? Sterling immediately oh. tags out. Hook gets taken off the apron, though, by Tony Nice. Well, I don't like that that happened, but it was definitely smart by Tony Nice. Yeah, Tony Nice, in including being a physical specimen, a pretty high IQ. Nice. As a pro wrestler, and there's that <laughs> Hook Housen training coming in. I told you. <laughs> oh, boy. Can Dan House get there? Dan Housen trying oh to boy. make the... There he is. Oh, and he does! But what, what, Smart Mark Sterling just dropped off the apron. Tony Nice. Oh, nice. Uchimato right there. Get on him. Oh, boy. <laughs> and the high collar, the throw, the overhead throw by Hookhausen. Front head and arm suplex. And Oh, Mark Sterling doesn't want to come in. No, no, he, Sterling, he just patted Tony Nese on the back. Oh, okay. And Mike Posey said it was a tag. It was a tag. Oh, man. <laughs> Either way, oh, it doesn't oh, oh. I wow. switch. Wow, great standing switch. Look at the wide vertical oh, but, base. Wait a second. Oh, to, oh, to El Camino El right Camino there. El Camino there by hook. And now smart Mark Sterling. Oh, but is going for a ride. Oh, oh, oh. That's a tough night in Vegas, buddy. <laughs> You're not kidding. Right on your bean, baby. <laughs> I think Sterling might be Dunsky. And Hook now with an opportunity to end this match. To end, uh oh, he just cut the throat. Wait, whoa, look. But Dan House. Dan House is asking for the tag. And Hook may get him the tag. Yes, he's going to. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Dan House. <laughs> You go. Here are your winners, the team of Hook and Dan Housen. How about that Hook Housen team? Uh, he's talented, excellent striker, excellent background in karate, and movie time. His opponent already in the ring, DKC. A big opportunity here for DKC, walking into Rampage against the undefeated Cold-hearted, handsome devil. What a boost that would be for DKC to hand hook his first defeat. But as you can hear, this packed house in Milwaukee supporting hook. I like this. Well, that's a nice Kouchi Makakomi into this knee bar here. Excel. Yeah, the knee bar is uh, DKC making his way to the ropes to force the break hook. Hanging on for a little bit of extra punishment there. He likes to hurt people. That's what hook will do. He'll hurt you. Ooh. Well, like you said, he's facing a pretty prominent opponent here from the DKC. He mentioned that he trains in the LA New Japan Dojo, correct, Excalibur? That's right. Well, he's getting lit up in his midsection right about now. DKC training Ooh. under uh, Katsuyori Shibata in that LA Dojo, one of the oh, watch out. legends Whoa, of New nice. Japan. That is a massive Uchimata in a thigh, reaping throw. DKC escapes out of the corner, chops to the chest, and there, the, the, the ridge hand chops to the side of that. The neck of Hook from DKC. He's got good hands, quick hands. Well, Hook's actually kind of hurting for once. Now dazed a little bit, but... Ooh, he's pissing him off, I promise. Wild oh. swing and a miss, Hook. All right, there you go, baby! He's gonna fly, baby. Wow. The high crotch, the overhead throw by the cold-hearted, handsome devil, Hook. He's still, got, he's still got his gum in his mouth. So it's like Indiana Jones' hat never comes off and Hook's gum never comes out of his oh, mouth. Look at that. Those cross face strikes. Crowd chanting Hook. Hook a mania running wild tonight. Cross faces are bringing it. And now the red rum in the center of the ring. That's it. DKC with no choice but to tap out. Your winner by submission, Hook. I thought he was for the Mahi Straw, but instead starts the back up. Oh. Enzi Geary. Pretty hard shot there by Dan House. So, baby, be careful, Ricky. Once you get him rolling, oh, we get a little bit overzealous in the oh. neck. The neck. Oh, boy. I don't like this. Dan House got to go up. Oh! Well, the history with the injured neck of Ricky Starks, I think it just, just affected him with that turnbuckle. It affected Ricky. I, I agree. He was out for quite a while. Oh. The neck. Oh, boy, but that spear into that, man. That might be it. Stark slices Dan House and in half and retains the FTW champion. That was smart to nail that spear there. Dan. 
two FTW champion, Absolute Ricky Stork. That was smart of Ricky to do that. Oh, no, wait, wait. Did he just signal for them? No, no, no. We'll see. We'll see. Very nice, very evil, but you're not absolute. And just like last week, oh my God, I still got a little bit left in the tank. So let's bring out another challenger, and I'm for real this time. What? What? Somebody's got an opportunity. Right now. Who's going to step up? Not smart, Ricky. No, it's not. I. He's a little bit of a renegade. Oh, oh my! What the hell? I think, ladies and gentlemen, business is about to pick up the hottest kid in pro wrestling. Hook. Step it up for the talent. Big mistake, Ricky. Good God, I got goosebumps. <laughs> The cold-hearted El Diablo Guapo. Hook. How about the reaction of Starks? Starks a little surprised. Huh. Well, Starks has been around Hook for a long time. Yeah, they trained exactly together. Exactly. Well, the beginning of Hook's training, as you guys know, he was in the Team Taz Dojo. Ricky was one of Hook's trainers. So he knows Hook's offense, but I don't know if he knows all of it. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm shocked, but it's a smart move. It really is. Come out here. Get your shot. Well, Starks has got 50 wins in the AEW. Hook, just getting his career started, has two. Big difference in experience, especially big match experience. And Hook with the orange trunks on. That's a first. That's also a message, I think. <laughs> This is surreal for me. Oh, the, I, I get it, man. The bell has rung. Who will leave Worcester, Massachusetts as FTW champion? All oh, those fast hands. Body shots. Fast hands, big time. Fighting their mark. Hard headbutt. And Hook staggered himself with the headbutt. Starks reverses. Nice drop step there. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Hook! Pretty Ricky got folded up like an accordion. That's that black sunshine, that ball and chain, pump handle suplex. He's busting it out here. Ricky's in trouble. Ooh. Oh, but Starks, the right hand to the jaw. Hook is now. Wait a second. Stone. Oh. Oh, he planted Hook. Great execution. Well Great done. execution. Well done. Irish whip into the ropes. Hook comes back. A hip toss. Oh, look at that. On his feet. Now that's an athlete, ladies and gentlemen. You and can Hook, land on your feet. Hook was looking for the El Camino, but Starks counted it. Watch that's out! Knowledge and the spear! That's what won the last match for Ricky Starks. And now Starks bringing Hook up. So Rochambeau here. Yeah, Rochambeau. Hook. No counters. Into the red room. Look at the expression on pretty Ricky's face. The legs are in. The grips are in. Oh, Starks tried to roll. Ooh. But instead, oh, yeah. the cat. JR, you nailed it, man. He grew up looking at that championship on my freaking mantle. I can't believe this. Oh, man. And now for the first time in over a year, the FTW Championship comes back to New York, comes back to St. Mark's Place, and a show of respect between Starks and the new FTW Champion, Hook. A lot of history behind the scenes between Hook and Starks, but there is the new FTW Champ. Damn, I can't believe it. Congratulations to the young, talented pup here on AEW. Title created by his father, Taz, and keeping it in the family. Now he's got the Zack Clayton in the reality. Giving up a lot of size here, too. Yeah. 
Hook's got the momentum. Hook, Hook's, Hook's just an angry man, too. Well, you, you need to be angry, but you're right about the size differential. Look how big Zach Clayton is. Well, but the thing about Hook, he's got the judo experience. He knows how to use his leverage That's right. effectively. Use that size against his opponent, Zach Clayton, from, from the Jersey Shore. Family vacation was this TV experience. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, oh, there he go. Oh, look out, look out here. Wow. The red oh. rope. The red rope. Look at this. The oh. hooks are in. <laughs> it's that, locked. That's it, guys. That that's it. it. Got him. Good night, nurse. Wow. It's a long Greyhound bus trip back to New Jersey. Exactly. The winner of this match and still FTW champion, Hook. Well, that kid don't work by the hour, does he? <laughs> he sure does it. He didn't his hair, not a hair out of place either. I'm impressed. Amazing. Hook wrestling tonight like he's double parked. He remains undefeated. He remains the FTW champion, the cold-hearted, handsome devil, Hook. It's, it's really an amazing story, it is. Hook has had a meteoric rise in the world of professional wrestling, and now bringing that FTW championship back home to New York. But cool hand Angela Parker, Tony, a very, very well-versed, well-experienced veteran, and he's got what it takes to upset Hook, I think. Yeah, Hook has had 12 matches, 12 professional matches. Angelo Parker's had 20 years of experience, and that may be the overwhelming factor, but the fact is that Hook, look at the wide vertical base here, Excalibur, is such a phenomenal, polished athlete. Oh, but nice counter to the reversal attempt, that front trip by Hook, he floats over into the front chancery. You can just see the way he moves, that he is far superior most. And you can see it at the bottom of your screen in just about 45 minutes. We will be live with All Out on pay-per-view through cable and satellite digital providers. Bleach Report, select AMC, Regal, and Cinemark Theaters nationwide, and fight.tv and ppv.com internationally. Nice drop sign Nagi there by Hook and Angelo Parker. Yeah, he's getting out of the way of Schauber because right now, oh, oh goodness, he was getting showed up. The cheap right hand by Angelo Parker. Hit him in the eye. He hit him in the eye, I think he did. He certainly did, and then he whipped Hook face first into that middle rope. We always, we always say rope a misnomer. These are high tension steel cables. To have your head bounce off that could be disastrous. And there's the numbers game you talked about, Excalibur, right at the beginning. I mean, Hook was showing Parker up. He was absolutely showing Parker up in the ring. He snap suplex, cool hand with the cover, but Hook able to kick out. Daddy Magic looking on. Can Cool Hand and bring the FTW Championship to the Jericho Appreciation Society? Let that kid fight, would you? Hook laying in the body shot, but Cool Hand again, a closed fist shot to the face of Hook. Boots, uh, boot laces right against the side of the face. Fans, like I said, are really taken to Hook. Just imagine in his career how great he's going to be in, let's say, one, two more years. I mean, we, we see the evidence of how great he is today, but you're right, right Tony. With time, he is going to become a huge, huge threat. And you know the FTW Championship is not the only championship he will hold over the course of his career. I agree with that, absolutely. And he Angelo Parker just jawing with Hook. Maybe, oh, headbutt there. Oh, wow, how about uh, that? that Look at this. Matt Menard grabbing the boot of Hook. And there you go. Hook stomping on the, the fingers of Menard. Cool hand, though. He got rocked by that headbutt. Look at Hook, man. He is just as, as brazen and brave as you can get. Look at that judo throw. Yeah. The knee lift to the midsection. That's Sainagi. Big reaping throw there by the cold-hearted, handsome <laughs> devil in the exploder from El Diablo Wapo. <laughs> that exploder. Exploded the head, the neck, and the shoulders of Parker. And Hook, I mean, what a testament to his, I mean, to his professional. Oh, another kick. That one caught Hook square on the nose. Yeah. I was going to say his, his ability to recover after having his eyes targeted. For his level of experience, Tony, he is, I mean, he's wrestling well beyond his years. No, there is no doubt about that. No doubt. It, it, you're seeing it right here. And you, we are seeing Hook really. This being his 13th match, this is his toughest test so far. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, this is unlike anything we've seen Hook right. endure before. He usually are, is, the affair is much quicker now. Hook! Great extension of the legs to get him over. Great extension of the legs. Hook's going to 
Hook's going to learn a lot in this match. He really is. This is good for him. Parker, though, left over. Hook, and now uh -oh. looking for perhaps a brain buster. No. Hook gets to his feet. Looking for Red Rum. Got to get the legs. Got to get legs. He's, 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 he's tapping immediately. How about that? No winner of this match, and still FTW champion, Hook. Tony with a technique like that. Oh, wait, Good no. God, he was wiped out. Matt Menard, the blindside shot. And now Menard just stopping the FTW champion, Hook, in the corner. This is brutal. This kid beat him. He tapped out immediately. Oh, Lordy. Wait a second. Action Bronson. He's seen enough. Bronson comes behind. Daddy Magic gets thrown for a ride. And now Bronson. Oh, what a massive mat return for Bronson. Action Bronson has never had a match. I'm confident in the man. Hooks all business, as is Bronson. Chris, to your point. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Menard. Daddy Magic wants him. All right, action. The tag is made. Look yes. at this. Flushing zone right here. Right down the road he grew up. Look at Daddy Magic. He's going to give him a little what for. Bronson. He's a big man. I'll tell you that right now. Shoulder tackle. Neither man giving ground. Come on, Daddy Magic, knock him down. The big man move. Oh, oh wow. Tremendous like a, quickness by action. Bronson. He's like a truck. He's got a good first step. He can tell he's facing football somewhere along the way. He has. Come on, boys. Played at Bayside High School. That's in Queens, for those who are counting. Bronson in control. Daddy Magic sends him face first with the top turnbuckle pad. Makes the tag out to Hook. Hook with some new gear design in collaboration with the Austin Bound artist known as Ass Pizza. Nice Northern Lights suplex transitions. It's a bow and arrow right there. Freestyle bow, bow and arrow. arrow. Yeah. And oh, nice. Angelo Parker there to break it up. Though. That's a freestyle kick to the back of the head, Taz. Oh, it, was, it was well done, Jericho, for sure. He's been a veteran. He's a world traveler. Your, your guy's on the ship. This, yes. Once again, anytime Hook's at a disadvantage, he always comes out on top. It's, it's a good test for him against my boys here. Right now, this is a problem for sure. Oh, oh nice. Running knee strike. Stay down, Carter. Hook. Two, no. A handsome, handsome, handsome devil might not be handsome after that. Can you imagine if Hook loses his first match here tonight against my guys? Taz, you're going to lose your mind. I would lose my mind. But again, nothing but respect for Daddy Magic and, and, and Cool Hand Edge. You hear this fantastic crowd on hand for Rampage Grand Slam. They want to see Action Bronson. Action Bronson has over 2 million listeners per month on Spotify. He ain't no joke in his, in his field, but he's in our world now. He's he in the is. Jericho Appreciation Society's world. Action Bronson, he was nice. nominated as... Oh, wait, cover here. You gotta, you gotta hook that leg, get him neutralized it somehow, some way. Just a snap suplex won't get it in today. No, it won't. Mark. Especially to your point, Gerald, with someone with the mad experience, grappling experience of Hook, even though he's 23 years old. Action Bronson was nominated as Hip Hop Rookie of the Year in the BET Awards. A victory over Menard and Parker here tonight. He could be nominated yeah. as the Wrestling Rookie of the Year. That ain't going to happen, Dick's caliber. They pop that shoulder up, pop it up. One, two, no. Hook is getting challenged. He is. As we have not seen him challenged thus far in his short. It, it's he's, a spectacular oh, career. He's being taught a lesson, JR. He's in the big leagues now with the Jericho Appreciation Society. We still have a lot of action here on this special two hour Ooh. presentation of Rampage Grand Slam. That might be the opportunity there. Hook's got to try to get Bronson in this thing. Not happening. Ah, damn. Great heads up teamwork by the Hold Jericho Appreciation Society side. Pop his head off, big cool head edge. Well, something's going to pop. It's oh. going to be hips. Oh. Yeah, well, well, nice segue, Taz. <laughs> He called that one. Hook, though, he's in a lot of trouble here. More oh, than here we go. We're used to seeing, but the tag made it. Bronson. Oh, no. Fans oh. wanted this tag. He loves that shoulder tackle. It's effective. Why not? Bringing that clothesline, too. Now, Bronson, the scoop. Come on, big man. Come on, now. Come on, Daddy Magic. Get And action. Bronson with the flushing queen stampede. Oh, come <laughs> on. I love that call. It didn't look like an Oklahoma stampede to me, but what do I know? <laughs> look nothing like an Oklahoma stampede. Dollar oh, whip into the ropes. Bronson breaks through. Right, right wow. Through. Oh, Jeez. Oh, yeah, just truck him. What a pounce. That was like a rhino in there. And I I think Cool Hand tried to. 
Daddy Magic's gonna. Uh oh. Hook. Oh, there he is. Cool Hand was trying to escape to the floor, but instead, Hook. So release Fisherman Suplex. Come on, guys, get it together. The momentum's shifting. Uh oh. Oh. And a miss. Red Rum very nearly locked in. Cool Hand has tasted this before. And wait. Red Rum by Bronson. Come on. Look at this. Get the legs in, boys. Use your get those move. legs in. They sit back. Hook. And action. Bronson score the win. It's over. Come on. The FTW champion, Hook and Action, Beyonce! Hook stays undefeated. They should have been disqualified. You can't put two guys in the same submission, have them tap out at the same time. That's not the rule book. Hey, I understand you didn't want to let me purchase the FTW title. Maybe you're not a check guy. Maybe Hook doesn't have a bank account and he likes straight cash. So I'm going to give you one last chance before I kick your ass and take your belt, this is your last opportunity. Take the money. Oh, I'll be right back. Well, now, all right, Davari, we all like straight catch. Oh, oh no, look. Just taking Davari over the top. And, oh, but Davari grabbing the boot of Hook, yeah. bringing him to the outside. Maybe we're seeing this, how deep Hook can swim, how deep the water's got to be. Wow, Hook, a nice block that time, going to head first on the table. And there you see the trust funds, or the, excuse me, the trust busters, Butler, Jeeves K. A Butler. 2022. Well, bring your butler to the ring with you, I guess, right? If you're insecure and you're a billionaire, look at this. The intervention by by Jeeves K actually benefited our Davari here. He's got hooked down on the corner. Yeah, he got his billions. He got his billions. Well, I'm not going to say how he got his billions. I, I don't trust him. Should he be in prison? <laughs> oh! Massive chop. Hey, I like the fact that Davari is bringing it to. to uh, hook, and we're seeing how much pain Hook can endure before he gets back on track. Jabari claims he's the richest hey, 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 in hey. pro wrestling today. And Davari getting an assist once again. His butler, Jeeves K, on the outside. And Davari's from a very talented wrestling family. He's highly skilled. You should have taken the money when you had the chance. And his older brother was a great wrestler, too. But he ain't setting the world on fire. He's five and one. Impressive. Look at Hook fighting back with those body punches. And let me tell you, we can hear those punches flesh on flesh from where we're sitting and down to the ring. And Hook digging Ooh. with those body shots to the ribs, but Davari gets the boot up into the face of Hook, and Hook oh, takes down Davari, brings him through, and now Fisherman suplex by Hook. He's good as physical. He's a former outstanding Division I lacrosse player. And he's got Davari right where he wants. Oh, wait, once again, Hook took his eye off the ball. One, Is two, the, and then, yeah, the trunks. Let's remember now, Hook has had 12 matches. And oh, but he takes out Jeeves K. Look out. And uh, I, think that was a, I think that was a glancing blow. That crossed right across the top of the head. My God, Hook goes down. But it was enough to stun him. And Davari, whoa. Surrounded by cash. That's where these guys both want to be eventually in their careers. Surrounded by cash but not quite like this. Well, Davari just trying to use his wealth to buy the FTW championship, but Hook not making it easy. You hear the fans here in Daly's place in support of the cold-hearted, handsome devil. Great counter by Hook. Oh, boy, they ran into that one, though. Hey, Davari's a good hand. Look how quick Hook was that time. And Hook brings him Ducky in with down. the red rum. Davari. Oh, he's trapped. got it. Nowhere to go. The Hooks are in, so to speak. Here's this match by submission, and still the FTW champion, Hook. Can Lee Moriarty dethrone Hook, the FTW wow. champion? He's thrown those cross faces, almost mocking Hook, but Moriarty in complete control. Oh, wait. Hook, oh, Hook grabbed it. Yeah, he, he grabbed the wrist. that one. Grabbed the wrist of Moriarty there, but Moriarty, there's just a shot. Lower back. Yeah, caught Hook on the kidneys, but Hook with the lariat. Hook needed something high impact and sudden. That's what you get, and it worked. Stokely's got those crazy eyes, man. He looks like he's insane when he's out there. I don't trust that guy. Yeah, Stokely, 
Very surprised he could be seeing. Body shot. Body shot. The lock. Could be seeing this opportunity. FTW Championship escaping Moriarty as Hook battering. Bare knuckle boxing here from Hook. And the referee trying to separate them because Lee Moriarty was in the ropes. The punch has kind of got all over the place there for a few moments in this, in this fight. Nice knee lay. Oh. Really yeah. nice. Good, good balance. Really good balance by, by Hook. The big reaping Uchimata, and now the back heel trip there by Hook as he's going after the legs more. Oh, no, instead he rolls him through up into a... Oh, Fisherman. Fisherman, oh, it's a Fisherman's throw. Fisherman's throw, right. And Moriarty now in trouble. He was dominating this match for a good chunk of time, but Hook fighting his way back into it. Even with that injured elbow, still able to get those throws. Hook continues to put on mass. Oh, no. Training schedule is a very strong, very aggressive. But so, but he's not he's not as hungry or as or any hungrier than Moriarty. They both have the same agenda. And yeah, Moriarty, we saw. Oh, look at diving knee drop. Cover him, Lee. Could do it. Moriarty, the cover, the far leg is your feet on the ropes. Two and no. He should have put his feet on the ropes for leverage. And yeah. now look at this. With the Kimura locked in. That's vicious. Moriarty trying to bring the wrist of Hook up in between Hook's shoulder blades, but Hook using his Double. power to fight out of it. Don't forget it's the same elbow he was working on earlier in the match. Double wrist lock. By any name, Kimura, double wrist lock, whatever, is a deadly piece of business. And I does think the trick. That might have been a mental lapse by, by Moriarty there. We'll cover two and no Moriarty. Goes through and now looking for the Border City stretch. He's got him locked in. Hook is flattened. Well, he was flattened out. He's got his knees under him, but Moriarty is cranking back. Hook's being challenged. Uh, grit in the grit department. Hook turned the hips and now, wow, he's got control of Moriarty. Look at that. Oh, smooth. The, How slick was that? The red rum is locked in. Center of the ring. Hook is going to do it. This could do it right here. And Moriarty nice. is out. It's over. Nice. Red, red rum in 237, right there by Hook. Still, FTW champion, Hook. And, I mean, Taz, have you talked to Hook about what happened last week, about uh, about him coming to Jack Perry's aid? Yeah, I said, why'd you do this? And I felt like it. He walked away. I mean, that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> there you go, right? Like that last return he did there on that front headlock. Here we go. Well, I'll tell you what, you raised, he raised a kid that's his own man, Taz. No question about that. Because he felt like it. He wanted to do it. Yeah, he kind of just does his own thing. And nice side knock. You throw right there. Gets deep. Yeah, Hook maneuvers those hips in. And now he captures the boot of Prime. That's a high cradle. That's a high cradle. And he's sent for a ride. Hook back up on his feet. And he leaned in with that lariat. He is so beyond his years as far as fundamental in the ring. I mean, he really is. Well, thank you. His footwork, his, his, his first step explosion, it's all there. And now bringing these cross faces here. This might be the beginning of the end here for my man. Hook with Red Rum locked in after the cross faces. Exodus Prime, no choice but to tap out. And the Red Rum. Well, 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 look what we have here. This Neanderthal thought he was walking around in Beverly Hills. And Hook, just like you, he can't walk these streets alone. And Hook, trust me when I say your demise will be because of two reasons. Lee Moriarty and Diabetes. Wait, Big Bill. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Jack Perry. Oh, into the, into the dumpster. Just a brutal backstage assault on Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Oh, Hook. Again, showing no respect to his opponent, to his competition. His back is turned. And, you know, we saw after Hook's match last week that Stokely Hathaway and Big Bill attacking Jungle Boy in the back, the choke slam into the dumpster. It was, I mean, trying to get underneath the skin of Hook. Yeah, trying. Not quite sure if it did, but it probably did. Right now, these body shots are hitting their mark, Shivani. Oh, I love, I love how he almost winds up with those arms. I mean, his shots, everything he does is with such force, passion. Look at that. Taz, I believe that was an Uchimata out of it the was. corner. And now, the high color in the overhead suplex from El Diablo. Wow, hook. Very explosive hips and technique how these throws happen. 
A hook. This could be the beginning of the end. Look how he just rears back. back. Yeah, those cross yeah. face shots. And now, <laughs> got control of the back. The Red Room locked in, and that is it. Winner of this match by submission, the FTW champion, Hook. I told you he wasn't a good move. And Hook, another dumb hook. Hook, hook, hook. hook. You want to know what's crazy? Every single week, somebody, <laughs> your father, somebody wants to tell me in the entire world that you're such a badass. But against us, you're not going to be able to get the job done. You, you are like the Southwest Airlines of AEW. I'll tell you what, Stokely better be careful. But well, I don't slap him across his lip. I mean, I mean, Hook better be careful right now because he's got Lee Moriarty and Big Bill. Hold on here. Oh, but Hook may have some reinforcements. Yeah, maybe return the favor of a week ago. The redemption time. Watch out. No. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Throwing a shoulder at the Lee Moriarty. Oh, and show the fist fight out here. Just scrapping on the oh, outside, but inside in the, the ring, ring. In the ring. Look at this in the ring. My, oh, my God. The size of Big Bill. But then look at Hook. He's not backing no, down. He is not concerned in the least. Not afraid. And on the floor, Jungle Boy Jack Perry. He subdued Lee Moriarty. Oop. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, God. God. He's going for the T bone. The T bone attempt by Hook. Almost got that T bone. You're right, Excalibur. And now Big Bill. But wait, help. Watch out. Jungle Boy. Boom. Parry the two by four across the spine. Oh. <laughs> A great equalizer by Jack. Oh, he was Damn. swinging for the fences Man, there. He was going for the head. You are right. Well, that's good for Big Bill. He got his ass out of there. Electricity in the arena. Going for his head. A massive giant like Big Bill. He wound up and blasted Jungle Boy with that right hand. He's mocking our live audience in Los Angeles because of what they do on Jungle Boy's entrance. Oh, oh. Jack gets out of the corner. Elbow for Moriarty. Elbow for Big Bill. And oh, oh. Big Bill did such tremendous oh. reach on that boot and diving knee drop there from Moriarty. And this tag team match, Jungle Hook versus the Firm, continues in picture in picture. Man, I love that name, Jungle Hook. Who coined that? Not me, but oh, I like it too. You, had oh, oh, you come up with that all the years. Oh, oh, I can't take credit for that one. No, I'm sorry. I'll take credit for everything. I'll tell you what, that knee strike that walked the apron by, by Lee Moriarty onto Jack Perry was nasty. He caught. Definitely caught Jack hard towards the side of the head, I should say. And it was a great follow-up after the high boot from Big Bill. Yeah, and just look at the size of Bill. I mean, it, it just, it's obvious. Hey, I know that guy in the front. I don't remember his name. Not asking. Uh, Ken John. Dr. Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken, better to sit down. And Big Bill getting right up in Dr. Ken's face. Big Bill looking at the top of oh, the guy's head, actually. Oof. Sit down, sir, please. Jack was, he was trying to fight up off the mat, but Big Bill just overwhelming force. Yeah, just a gigantic human. Look at that over the top wow. rope, just what he's, he puts his body in between Hook and Jungle Boy, smart. Yeah, great tag team wrestling there by Big Bill. Yeah, he's so fluid for a big man too, man. He really like, is, highly athletic. Yeah. Tag made, Moriarty back. In this match, back legal, and now driving those knee strikes into the ribs. Jungle Boy, the snap, Mare, and oh, man, I the smart. PK. The cover, a leg is hooked. One, just a two count for Lee Moriarty, but and referee Bryce Ramsburg admonishing Moriarty, but. Well, it looked like Lee Moriarty was trying to get Hook to suck him into the ring. Right. He's not stupid. He's not going to do that to draw a referee. He's just not. Yeah, I was going to say, Ted, that that showed a lot of composure by, by Hook that time just to stay on the outside. Just to take that shot. Right. Trust me, it pissed him off, I could tell. But sure. you know what I mean? Like, you just don't want to put your partner in more harm's way when it's a two-on-one situation. 
and then the referee gets pulled in. Yeah, especially with two athletes as dangerous as Lee Moriarty and Big Bill. Absolutely. We had Shin Lock, but a good S grip right there by Lee. Himself a well accomplished grappler, too. Yeah. And I can tell you what's going through Hook's mind. It's burning a hole, and you can't help your, your teammate. Yes, yeah, the, the frustration of sitting on the apron, especially for watching all the punishment doled out on the yeah. floor so as you've well. You've been there, Excalibur. You've had partners that you wanted to help. You couldn't. Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Oh, tried to just turn it around on Lee Moriarty there, but Moriarty. That's nice counter, yeah. The tag team match has seen Lee Moriarty and Big Bill completely isolate Jungle Boy Jack Can Perry. Up? Can he get him up? The power there, Jungle Boy. The power bomb. Countered by Jack. Now, can he make it over the corner? Can he tag in Hook? Jack has really taken a lot of offense on his body. Can he make the tag, Shivani? Crawling and crawling. Reach out, kid. Here we go. It's right there. Oh, oh, man, he fingertips. The oh. up kick. There you go. There it is. And Hook. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Coming oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. Takes down Lee. Oh. And Big Bill. Oh, almost got dropped off the Up apron. To knock him off his feet. Yeah, watch out. Northern Lights suplex. One, two. Oh, Big Bill. A shot like that to the ribs, Tads. That could be devastating. Yeah, especially while you're in the brick. Oh. <laughs> Ain't no back down to him, buddy. Not at all. But he's he's gonna gonna throw the T-bone. Hook was attempting the T-bone. He's gonna get it. Oh, oh, man. But Big Bill, he just backs. Oh, oh. oh. This, I think he got popped though. Yeah, Jungle Boy landed the Gaman Geary. I think he got. Yeah, Bill got popped in the face. And here it goes. Here it comes. Done. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. <laughs> It's mine on that. Jungle Boy Jack Perry and Hook. Some very effective tag team offense. Oh, watch out. Moriarty looking for the roll up there. One, two. The oh. Jack reverses. He's got Moriarty pinned. No, looking. Now maybe stair trap. Watch that stair trap. And watch the big man. The legs are oh, Hook. just got popped off the apron, I think. The stair trap is locked in. And Moriarty taps out! Here are your winners, Jungle Hook! Oh, was it easy? What a win for Jungle Boy Jack Perry and Hook. Some great teamwork here tonight in LA. Yeah, they got it done. There's that drop kick to the back, Excalibur, then this front T-bone. Watch the hips. It's all about technique. Doesn't matter how big someone is, if you've got technique, you'll peel off the throat. Here's the snare trap. The yeah. snare trap cinched in Lee Moriarty with no choice but to tap out and Jungle Hook successful in their tag team debut. And I think that's why they, they kind of get some synergy together here. Right. Poise is a great word. You're exactly right. And Ethan Page just tagged himself in. And Jungle Boy Jack Perry, Ethan Page, they went one on one at Rampage. Ethan Page tried to involve Matt Hardy into that match. Hook came out. He was the difference maker for Jungle Boy. We thought it was one night only in Los Angeles, but this, um, I mean, this this combination of, of Jungle Hook, so to speak. Oh, wait a second. A bit of a standoff here. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, oh easy now. Oh, he just bailed out on Jungle Boy Jack Perry and Hook. He bailed on his partner there. It's what he did. Ethan Page swinging a miss. Throw him right here. Looking for a T-bone on the floor. Oh. But instead, Ethan Page driving. Oh, wait, Ethan Page. He may be looking for Eagle's Edge on the floor. Got to slip out of this. Oh, but Jack Perry, he spotted on the corner of his eye. And the assist for Hook. The teamwork right there. Good job by Jungle Boy. Oh, Matt Hardy intercepted the Lariat attempt. He was thinking side effect. Jack knew it was coming. The reversal into the ropes. Kick to the chest. And Ethan Page sweeps out the leg of crafty. Jack Perry. Yeah, difference maker there for yeah. Ethan Page. No, Ethan Page, very crafty, uh, a veteran. Obviously, Matt Hardy, uh, a, a bona fide expert in tag team wrestling. Jungle Boy's in trouble here. Teamwork by Ethan Page and Matt Hardy. And 
A surprising amount of teamwork here. I was going to say the same thing. I, I didn't expect them to work this well as a team, but look at them. And this match, tag team match, continues in picture in picture. You know, seemingly, Matt Hardy's a part of this team under duress, as we know the story about uh, right. his, his contract, but seemingly now he's. He's feeling very comfortable here. He is. I mean, he's in a, he's in a team, a, a tag team matchup, so he kind of has to do that, right? I get it, though. Ethan Page is a tough guy to like, you know, but yeah. Matt Hardy, you never know Matt Hardy. I mean, you know, he, he um, he's, a, he's an unpredictable guy, no matter a long time. Matt Hardy, I mean, just one of the best tag team wrestlers of all time. And now just looking to leap Jack Perry, those head, that head going into the, to the buckle pads. Well, you see, I listen, you know, you got Matt Hardy, he's motivated, I guess, by whatever's going on contractually with Ethan Page and with Stokely, and that they own his contract. Isaiah Cassie's reluctant to the whole thing. Right now, Jungle Boy has got to get hooked in this match if he can, because he's getting hammered right now. I love that. The catapult into the ropes by Matt Hardy. Ethan Page is taking credit for all the work Hardy's putting in the cover. Jack's here, able to kick out. I'm sorry, you're not just going to pin Jungle Boy that simply. It's too tough for that. A lot of fight in Jungle Boy. Man, look at that one forearm shot that time, Matt. And Matt keeps Knocked his dead. back, keeps yep. his back to hook, keeps his back to Jungle Boy's partner to cut the ring in half. It's just tag team one on one. Yeah, well that's what we talked about. 30 year veteran who has been one of the great tag team wrestlers of all time. He knows what he's doing. It's natural for him. How about Stokely? Man, is, is he like a... Uh, he, he needs to get slapped in the mouth, in my opinion. There you go. Trying to get that tag. Jungle Boy's close. Can he get there? A oh. few inches separating Jungle Boy Jack Perry and Hook from the tag. Matt Hardy. Oh, yeah. I kind of thought Matt was like teasing there a little bit. Letting him reach out just to pull him back. Flying on ball right there. Now the cover, it was a deep cover. Hardy sure neutralizing was. both legs. Yeah, good cradled up the leg too, and an excellent kick out by Jungle Boy. I mean, again, Matt Hardy, yeah, he's reluctant to deal with that man, Ethan Page, but he he, he does want to win. He doesn't want to lose. You get more money when you win the match. So I get why he's he's got, you know, he's working as a cohesive unit with Ethan Page, meaning Matt Hardy. Ethan Page, big right hand to the midsection. And Ethan Page using his size, driving that shoulder into Jungle Boys, and now double wrist lock. Yeah, he had that double wrist lock in really well and countered the grip, changed the grip, I should say. Jungle Boy Jack Perry desperately needs to make a tag to hook, but all ego Ethan Page and Matt Hardy just in the driver's seat for this one, Taz. Yeah, that definitely. Matt Hardy and Ethan Page throughout the break have been all over Jack Perry. Jungle Boy has been in a lot of pain with that arm. And uh, again, like I said earlier, a bona fide expert. Held tag team titles everywhere, Matt Hardy. Good luck dealing with him in tag matches. Yeah, no matter who Matt Hardy's partner is, he is a threat as, oh, wait, Jack. Now rolls off the back of Ethan Page. There you go, there you go, Jack. Matt Hardy sent to the outside. There you and go. The tag is made. Here we go. We'll get you some. Oh. 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 Hook swinging oh. for the fences with that lariat. He goes behind the El Camino. Oh. Takes Ethan Page for a ride. Boy, he knocked him straight is what he did. Turned him inside out with that El Camino. Oh. And nice. switch. Oh, the back elbow caught hook flush and the T-Bone's coming, baby! Ethan Page flying over all over the ring, courtesy of the cold-hearted handsome devil. A great teamwork here, guys, by both young men. Quick got some momentum going here. Whoa, hook got elevated over the top, but he hung on to the ropes. Ethan Page, I don't think he realizes it. And going for that red one. He didn't get it in. Oh! And Matt Hardy. Recognize oh. the danger there and driving the spine. Oh, roll up in the ring, though. One, two, no. Hook had his spine driven into the ring apron there by Matt Hardy. Now Matt Hardy yeah. made the blind tag. Yeah, you're right. Hook's down and out, hurting. Jack Perry's on his own here. Jack gets caught. Side effect. Matt Hardy. He landed it, and now Jack Perry, Jack may be in for a twist of fate. There it is. Oh, Ethan Page. 
He wants to take. He wants to take the. He wants to take the win. He knows Jack is hurting. Don't do it. Don't do it. He can win it with a twist of fate right here. He had to. He tagged Ethan in. I guess his contract dictates so. He's listening to his boss though. Oh, yeah. And twist of fate attempted. Jack. He's he, going to get that snare trap, guys. The snare trap in center of the ring. Ethan Page in serious trouble. Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy wants to tag in. He's, <laughs> Matt's not really making an effort to help his boss. He certainly isn't. And Ethan Page. No. Oh, wait. Hook. Sweeps the legs and jungle hook victorious. Page, everybody was having a laugh, but this is a very serious threat. Yeah, exactly. If Hardy happens to lose this match against Hook right now, yeah, Stokely's in a lot of trouble. The collar and elbow tie attempt there by Hook. Matt Hardy getting a wrist lock. That quick Kouchi Makakomi right there. And inside dive. Matt Hardy immediately going for the rope break, showing his veterancy, Tony. I love the takedown. I'm, I'm telling you, I love taking Matt Hardy off his feet, getting the upper hand, because when your opponent is down, Taz, as you know, yeah. That's exactly. The hook is so fundamentally sound. He just oh, right hand oh, wow. from He's... Matt Hardy. This is a uh, hook getting rattled there in the shoulder tackle, taking the cold-hearted handsome devil off his feet. But watch oh, that. Oh, Hardy, knee ball coming. Hardy spent some uh, spent too much time appealing to the fans here in San Francisco, and Hook caught the knee bar. Well, that's the thing with Hook. He, it, it, he's going to catch it. He's going to catch a limb on you no matter what you're doing. But again, the veteran, Matt Hardy, smart. Watch out. Oh, but Hook turn it around on Hardy on the outside. Yeah, hook undaunted. I mean, he's got it. Look, all these guys surrounding him. Oh, oh hell. Ethan Page. Oh, my God. And, and the referee's attention was diverted by Matt Hardy inside the ring. He never saw it. Bryce Remsburg, the ref, his eyes were on Matt Hardy and Hook down on the outside. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts out there. And definitely not, that did not help the cold-hearted, handsome devil for sure. The way he hit right there, he, he could have popped his shoulder out, man. He's... And, and Tony, we know that, that Ethan Page, if, if no one else in the firm, does not want to see Stokely in a no DQ match with Hook. Absolutely, and I don't blame him. But Matt Hardy taking advantage, driving those elbows into the back of the oh. neck, neck breaker. Smart of Hardy goes after the neck, after the shoulder, and upper chest griddle was driven into the post. But not a lot of urgency there by Matt Hardy Good once point. again. Good point. We've Hook seen... has the ability to recover, to your point, uh, from a physical perspective. Yeah, we've seen Hook in his... Uh... Uh -oh. oh, wait, Hook, uh -oh. the drop step behind. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> Look at that! And Matt Hardy T-boned. Stokely, I'm sure hopefully he's wearing black pants. <laughs> Look at those body shots from Hook. Go! Winded up the headbutt. And Hook charges in. Matt Hardy. Oh, no! The snake eyes right there landed hard on the face. Matt Hardy's been one step ahead of Hook here. Again, Hardy, that's the experience advantage. Hardy raining down right hands. But again, maybe, uh, maybe underestimating the FTW champion as Hardy pulls. Oh, Hook landed on his feet. Hardy drops to the canvas and Hook lands a devastating lariat. Yeah, he wiped him out on that. Look at the face of Stokely. Well, showing that first step explosion, that quickness. Maybe getting Northern Lights here. Hardy anticipated it. Sense Hook. Uh, man, stomach first right there. That'll knock the wind out of you. Again, a great veteran. Oh, no, 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 no. Side effect. Side effect from Hardy. Oh, my God, he's got him. Could a new, have a new FTW champion. No. Woo. Close. Very, very close. This is undoubtedly the most trouble we've seen Hook in thus far. And yeah, Matt Hardy for another side effect. You're kidding me. Oh. Side effect, Hook. Drop Sayanagi right there. Good Get job. Hardy up to his feet, but Hook right back on him. And now the hammer throw into the corner, reversed by Hardy. Charges in. Oh, both men oh, you collide. Heard, you heard that clunk. Yeah, yeah those was, both men's skulls colliding, Tony. I think the left eye here of, of Hook, really. Right there you see the... Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, you, you can hear that clunk from yeah. here. Man, if your vision's gone, Taz, you know, man, it's tough. And there's Stokely Hathaway. I think he took very he took that he took yeah, that he just cast, the cast Ethan Page. Oh, he oh. just used a cast on Hook. What a load of BS with the cast. We knew it. There it is. Oh no! Oh, they can't like this. this. One, no. two, oh, and oh! oh. One, two, three, two. Damn! Able to survive that shot from the cast. I think that was their big shot. I think that there was. Yeah. yeah. But if Matt Hardy lands the twist of fate. Oh, no, he's going to nail this. This will be a certainty. Oh. No! 
Hook the rubber with that Hardy immediately Tempest. tapped out. Immediately. The winner of this match is still FTW champion. We didn't practice any hardcore. No, he doesn't know hardcore. We didn't practice any hardcore. No hardcore. We didn't practice any of it. Look, he's looking for weapons. Okay, he's having any time. He's just talking to remember talking about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Hardy and Isaiah Cassidy, uh -oh. their contract. Oh, yeah, uh, real, uh, watch out. Oh, the fire extinguisher hits the eyes. No. This may be the equalizer that Stokely needed. Oh, that's not good. No, that is not good. That that could that, that would blind him maybe for the rest of the match here, Dad. It looked like he engulfed it in his, his mouth. Hooked it because he was, now he's got this steel chair, Stokely. And Stokely. And the killer, but don't push me. That's Tupac. Stokely thinks he's got this match in hand. He better get on the hop. Because if he waits too long, right, it's going to get ugly. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh. Stokely with the chair and hook. Oh. Catch the chair. The kick to the chest. And oh! Oh! The crack of the chair on Stokely. How do I just bring it out? And Stokely. Stokely's down for the count. Hook could end it here. Well, I guess it's genetic for him, for Hook. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Yeah, oh, brother. He's oh, <laughs> gone real. Oh! Body just thrown into the guardrail. Hook. I guess it's all over, baby. Two and one. Oh, no. brother. <laughs> I was going to say, are we going to see... Hook's first pinfall victory in AEW, no. Oh, you're gonna see Red Rum. The Red Rum locked in, and it's the over. referee immediately stopping it. No winner of this match. <sighs> what a guardrail. It's a steel guardrail. Love it, that high collar throw really made its impact. Thanks for coming, Stokely. Well, Stokely had the way. You might need to recall those ambulances from earlier. Old business. Get Stokely on the way to the hospital. The FTW champion, Hook victorious, and he's the all ego. He's the pain. You have to avenge Stokely. You're the man who can beat Hook. Okay. I'll put the contract together and everything. You're the man. You can do this. Well, Matt Hardy is trying to try to encourage Ethan Page to avenge Stokely, but wow. But right now. It's a big threat here towards Hook and the FTW title, Shivani. I don't think there's any question that Ethan Page is a big threat, but he is facing a, a young man in his home area where he started his wrestling career, who has the longest active winning streak in AEW men's division, plus, pound for pound, maybe, probably, is one of the overall best athletes we've got in the ring. But all ego Ethan Page Tremendous power, tremendous experience advantage over oh, the champion, it. but Hook. He's gonna go for a ride here. T-Bone! All ego, Ethan Page, very wisely though, bails out of the ring, putting some distance between himself and the champion. I love how he stayed focused in oh. Hook on Ethan Page during all of that. He did that, this is the, the advantage, you gotta Ooh, be careful wow. Ooh, when you have shoulder. a size advantage like that here. It's okay. I can tell you the resiliency and toughness that Hook has. He can take pain and oh, punish oh, him. Hook yeah. going face first into the steel ring post. Yeah, a lot of intensity and he's just said experience for Ethan Page. And Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy in the corner of all ego Ethan Page. As Hook. This is uh he's called what is he calling for? I think he just called for it. Could have sworn he said twist of fate. He yeah. said for you, baby, point to right at Matt Hardy. That's uh, right. Ethan Page. Oh, make no. a twist of fate. And no, hook, hook to the midsection, hook, a oh, twist oh! of fate of his own! What the hell? Pulled out a what? twist of fate! <laughs> oh. that, that, that's what I was talking about, that athletic ability that hook has, that hook possesses. Well, Isaiah now is on the apron here. Isaiah Cassidy up on the apron and... and okay, there's a tug of war going for oh, the FTW what the title. Hell, what the hell? Matt Hardy, he hung on to the FTW championship. Let's just, let's, and, oh! oh! Wait, he, Matt Hardy just... Ethan Page just Snatch got it. rocked, and the Red Rum is locked in! Get those legs in here, here we go! Ethan Page is out cold! One more! That is it, Hook retains with the assist, the shocking assist the from Matt match. Hardy! And still FTW champion,
25 and 0. What the hell just had Matt Hardy? <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah, I give an assist to Hardy, but hey, look at the smile. A what win's a win. Time one, so they're big time players for sure. Yeah, those TLC matches are history making. They're remembered daily by a lot of hardcore fans. But this kid, uh, Hook, is starting it out. I like that. I like the fact that he's doing that. It just sets a pace for a different feel. You got two second generation athletes squaring off. You have three second generation athletes participating in this match. Of course, I'm talking about Austin and Colton Gunn and Hook. And Austin Gunn now with the early advantage on Hook wrist control. You yeah. know, Taz, so, these two kids, uh, uh, Billy Gunn's, have got unlimited potential. Sure. My God, they're they're just their heads. They're arrogant guys. But that adds to their, to, I think, their aura, their talent, and they're, they're very outspoken, and, and uh, they, they'll just tell you how they feel. And right now, you know, Austin Gunn trying to exchange, exchange holds here with Hook. Not sure if that's going to work out. And remember, we are just over 30 minutes away from Double or Nothing, coming up at the top of the hour live on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers. Bleacher Report, select AMC, Regal, and Cinemark Theaters nationwide. Select whoa, 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 whoa. restaurants, Hook, now. Got caught in an ankle lock right there. He's celebrating a little too much. Going for the ankle lock and Austin Gunn in the ropes. One thing about wrestling hook, you need to always know where the ropes are. That may sound ridiculous, <laughs> but he's going to get you in a compromising situation where you're only out are the ropes. Yeah, Matt, well, Matt returned there by hook, sending Austin Gunn down, picking him up with the arm bar, and now the tag out to Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy, the legal man. It's the right time to get one of the Hardys in because you have an opportunity to single out Austin. And fans internationally, you can join us on Fight TV, YouTube, DAZN, and PPV.com. Double or nothing, just over, just over 30 minutes away. I have some great friends just texting a few minutes ago. They got a house full watching uh, the show tonight. That's awesome. Very excited. Tag Team Synergy by the Hardys cover. You know, I mean, I, I know Jeff Hardy was slightly concerned. He hasn't had a match in, I believe, 11 months. He's been, you know, obviously dealing with a lot. He's here, he's back, and he's a little concerned. And, you know, it's, it's weird to see that out of, out of Jeff. Whoa, nice sign, Aki, right there. But Taz, the thing about it is, is that so many of the movements, the offense, that uh, Jeff creates is based on timing. Well, right yes, now, Hook <laughs> taking out all three members of the opposition inside the ring. Yeah, Ippon Sayanagi's for all. Oof! And the Hardys and Hook send like a modified arm drag. That it, it's, a shoulder, it's a shoulder, it's a Sayanagi, it's a shoulder throw. Yeah, usually done with a gi, but he utilized it with the armpit and get control of the elbow and tricep. There you go. And we are live here at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have over 11,000 fans joining us here tonight. They are still filing in for a double or nothing. And Ethan Page, you can see he's very upset because, I mean, he's got a lot to wrestle for in this match with his contract. I mean, these kids are obsessed, it's kind of, sorry, with themselves, their own egos, their own agenda. You can't be a champion if, you, if you've got that kind of mindset. Oh. Tell you what, Jeff just hit that uh and I like these heart. kids. Yeah. But Colton Gunn grabbing the boot of Hook, trying to prevent him from entering the ring. Ethan Page up oh. on, the, on the ring apron, but he gets sent out to the floor. Best way to defend Hook is not letting him touch you. Swinging a miss by Hook. Nice drop step by Austin Gunn, sweeping out the face and the face buster. I say facetiously, he's going to touch you. <laughs> and Austin Gunn making the tag out to older brother Colton Gunn. Remember the Guns task, former AEW yeah. World Tag Team Champion. Oh, they're phenomenal. The Guns are, I mean, awesome. I mean, yeah, they really are. Ethan Page is too. And they're controlling right now. Hook in the corner, cutting the ring in half. Tag team wrestling, even though it's a trios match, one on one. It's the right thing to do. JR, the Guns, and Ethan Page identifying the least experienced man in this match and looking to exploit whatever advantage that may provide. Yeah, and it generally works, Excalibur, but I don't know that I want to go that direction right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hook, he's, he's reserved, he's quiet, but he is. Very, very dangerous when you put him in a corner and now the boot up into the face, out of the corner. Oh. Ethan Page, what a right hand. Oh, watch out. No, watch this power slam. I can see how he had him hooked there. Unintended. Hey, Page is a talented dude. I'm he telling is. you. He is. Very, very talented. Big man, too. 6'3", north of about 235, 40 pounds-ish. He's a big guy. And the last thing Ethan Page wants is his contract in the hands of yeah. Matt Hardy. Can you imagine that? How many toilets are going to clean today? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I mean, Ethan Page, he, he tormented 
Matt Hardy for months when he was in control of Hardy and the private party's oh, 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 the post! Oh, the post! Well, Austin was mocking Hook when he does before his matches Austin, in the corner. Austin, Austin, he just Austin, flying. We gotta get him in, I gotta tell like you. Like he was leaving out of McLaren Airport. Well, there's a the the airport here, McLaren. Harry Reid. But Calamity oh, close here on the outside is... These cats are worried about... There, you got a tag, luckily. Ethan Page making the tag. And like I said, Page very motivated in this. He was barking at uh -oh. the guns, and now... Oh, Camino there. Oh. Camino taking Page for a ride. Got to get that tag. Got to make a dive. Got to get there, man. Tag made here. Tag made there. Matt Hardy legal, as is Colton Gunn. And Matt Hardy peppering Colton with them shots. And now face first in the top turnbuckle pad. Now the middle. Makes me very happy to see the fans have not even begun to forget about the parties after all the years. Whoa! They're special. Side effect for Austin Gunn. Colton boot to the midsection, but Matt side effect for Colton. And that's on point. Matt Hardy looking good right here, but Ethan Page fighting for his contract. And when she put Matt Hardy through hell, him and Stokely did. And there's a side effect for Ethan. That had to feel good. Now Colton up to his feet and walked right into that elbow. Oh. Matt Hardy <laughs> rocked him. Caught him with a delay there. Sometimes you get rocked and that's what happens. It takes a second, you're like, oh man, I just got rocked. Matt Hardy, the far leg is hooked in. Colton Gunn barely kicking out. Yeah, just wasn't quite ready yet, but it was close. The, the needle is moving for yeah. the Hardys and Hook. Matt's got control right now. Oh, wait, wait, they got Brother Zay over there. Brother Zay and oh, the neck brace. Austin Gunn taking the neck brace off. Zay oh. is not clear to compete. Oh, oh, no. And he just got driven down to the floor. You can see Zay clutching, clutching his neck. That's a tough situation, too, because there's not a hell of a lot the referee can do about it. Yeah, no, that's not. You're right, JR. He's on the outside. Oh, what a drop kick, and that Colton Gunn possesses one of the better drop kicks, drop kicks you're going to see. You know, Colton Gunn's still growing. He, he may be 6'3 or 4 easily. And Ethan Page now raining down right hands on Matt Hardy. He's trying to cover up. And you know, not only do we have Double or Nothing coming up live on pay-per-view at the top of the hour, right here on the Double or Nothing buy-in, we will also have the opening ceremonies of the Owen Hart Cup Tournament. That will be kicking off here on the buy-in in just a few moments, but Ethan Page gouging the eyes of Matt Hardy, backing him up to the corner. You got to look at that grabbing his shirt right there is Austin. Oh, getting an unfair advantage, Taz. That's all it is. It's not, well, they got to do what they got to do. They, they got to win. It. Yeah, you know, I, I know, I know. I mean, it's tough for the referee, Mike Cozy. He can't see that. No, he can't. And Jeff Hardy, you can see his frustration getting the better of him, watching his brother get triple teamed in the corner. But all this interference gets the other guys off the rhythm. Sure. They can't, sure. Get, they can't get in the flow of uh, things. No, you're exactly right. Completely agree with you. And right now, Matt, Matt Hardy is in a lot of trouble here with the guns and obviously Ethan Page. The only mocking. He's mocking. good news, Taz, is yeah. that your son and Jeff Hardy are well rested and should be ready to fight at any opportunity. Uh, I think they would be. With, hopefully, hopefully one of them get tagged in at some point. I would assume one of them, JR, would explode onto the scene here. Right now, Ethan in control like he was in control of Matt's contract. Went for a side effect. Now you got to try to get the brother tag. in or hook something here. There's a tag. Good job by Colton stopping Matt Hardy. Hardy sent into the ropes. He puts on the brakes. Oh, Colton whoa, right over the top. Man, Colton's lower back hit that apron hard. And now here comes Austin. Austin charging it in. And oh, jeez. Austin wow. overcommitted and paid the price. He almost sprained his ankle where he landed. Uh, definitely, but I'll tell you what, Matt's got the chance here. If he can have the wherewithal to get Jeff or Hook in. Colton Gunn grabbing the ankle of Matt Hardy, trying to prevent this tag from being made. And oh, man, they got, they got Ethan Page got and Austin back. Gunn. They pulled Hook they and Jeff Hardy off the apron. They separated them. So what happened? As simple as that. It was smart. Boy, these gun kids are athletic as hell. They're smart. Well, they have great chemistry, obviously, being brothers, but the chemistry of the guns is awesome. Good DNA. Now you see the QR code at the bottom of your screen. You can scan it and join us on Bleacher Report for Double or Nothing. Just over 23 minutes away, kicking off at the top of the hour, right here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, again, Matt Hardy singled out right here, and again, smart of the guns and Ethan Page. And now Colton legally tags in, ref sees it. Right hand by Colton Gunn. Matt Hardy completely isolated. We've got some great tag action tonight on the paper, you can tell you that. Top to bottom. 
It's going to be an amazing, amazing double or nothing. Yeah. All the championships in AEW on the line tonight. Colton Gunn, dazed but made the tag out to Ethan Page. Match close again, but again, Ethan one step ahead. Oh, he missed that elbow. Page tried to drop the elbow. Matt Hardy, but to the oh. midsection. Twist of fate, no. Can't do it. DDT, great counter to the counter. Yeah, nice. You're right, Excalibur. Very smooth. Almost the fluidity was amazing there. Now the question is, can Matt make the tag? He's close. Tag made by Austin. Oh, here we go. Made. Jeff Hardy in. Brother Jeffrey Nero gets the tag. Jeff Took Hardy. Shot. Shots all over the place for the guns. Jeff breaks the grip of Austin Gunn, boot to the midsection, sends him to the ropes. Austin reverses. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh. Shot across the nose. So much for ring Ross. I don't know what Jeff was worried about. He's looking good. Manhattan drop, followed up by the leg drops to the midsection. Drop kick to the face. Jeff Hardy, perpetual motion here. The swing and the Russian. Miss. Yeah, yeah, Russian leg sweep. Jeff Hardy rolls through. Jeff is perpetual motion, never ending offense. Look at oh, this. He's going to get the pin on his stack. He can give it. Oh, man. Smart, tough, that's a tough thing to kick out of when all your weight is stacked on the back of your head, neck, and shoulder area. Right? Yeah, that required a lot of leg strength by Austin Gunn to be able to kick out. And this show, starting with, with this buy-in show, is just amazing. Can you oh! imagine Chris Jericho and Adam Cole with the steam on that one? Oh, yeah. Two of the best in the world ever. Absolutely. And splash off the ropes, Jeff Hardy. Get like a oh. Jeff almost got him. And I'm, I'm, I am uh, interested, really interested in the AEW title match. Uh, oh. MJF's got a long road to hoe there. Sure does. Three men coming at him aggressively. And oh, oh, like, oh. is his ankle or a knee of Jeff buckled or twisted or something? And back elbow in the corner. Now Jeff up to the top. Oh no! Yeah. See, that's the thing. That's see, that's okay. that's that's 11 months away from the ring. Exactly. And I think Jr. That's what he was concerned about. Yeah. That's what Jeff talked well, about. That's what we were talking earlier. Everything yeah. he does is a high risk almost. From it's day one, is. right? From day one. Let's take a look here. We have slips here. See, that's the thing. It's just that timing is yeah. not there. Roast gets sweaty. Yep. Slick. You're not expecting it. Yeah, there's a big difference between working out in the gym and working out in front of more than 11,000 fans here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Jeff knows that. Boom! Nice shot. Jeff, the corkscrew kick. He takes Ethan Page down. Page had his hands down. His head was wide open. And now and here, here comes, comes the hook. The yeah, hook TW legal. champion. Right and left to the midsection. Back and Ethan Page up to the corner. I love that he works on the body. Those Quick body hands. shots are just simulated. Yeah, very quick hands. Oh, blocked that suplex. I know Hook was going for that underhook throw. Good job by Ethan. These men have competed against each other before. They know each other well, Excalibur. Ethan Page with Hook. Look at that. Oh, that oh. bridge! Reminds me of Mr. Perfect. Yeah, he doesn't hold the bridge like that, but yeah, same concept. You're right. Good call. Fisherman oh, suplex oh, and now Hook. Battering the jaw, those cross faces, Ethan Page, he's felt that before. Nothing fancy about that either. I love this kid's toughness. And we are just oh. under 20 minutes away from Double or Nothing. Coming to you oh. live at the top of the hour, and Hook just caught a live round to the face. There's a plethora of live rounds in this match by all six athletes. Hook got dropped, all ego, Ethan Page is, oh no. Well, oh, there Hook it is, can't get an all ball here. And oh, Dr. Nice, Fuji, nice. Fuji Katami. The cross arm breaker, whatever you want to call it. Got that locked out. Oh! And the end was damn near. I can tell you that right now. Had not been for the outside interference, we might be hearing a bell ringing right now. Well, if there's a limb available, hook, we'll hook it. Pun intended. He said pun intended twice this match at Cal, but that's a rare one. <laughs> that's a rare double you pun. You can't use that the rest of the night. I know, I'm, lo I'm locked in now. <laughs> that's it. Double Irish whip into the ropes. Hook tucks underneath. Tag, tag. made by Matt Hardy. Oh! Yeah, Matt made a nice timely tag. There. The shot laid out Ethan Page. Colton Gunn, he turned his attention. He turned his back to Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy taking advantage. Jeff trying to get to his feet. You know, we've seen is the this a wise, is, it, is this a wise move, Tan? I think so. If he hits it, it is. Jeff yes. Hardy, he <laughs> hobbled, but he hit it. If he didn't hit it, it wouldn't have been wise, but it was. <laughs> Jeff just, he can't help but take chances. He's a damn daredevil. And he's not done. And, oh, oh, oh the gun. And Jeff landed in a bad place, in a bad place. Matt Hardy. And Colton Gunn. Oh, no. Oh, what? oh they're going to get mad here, guys. They got him. The 310 to Yuma. And now the guns are going to steal it. The double pin. Two and no. Oh, oh my God. God. Break it up. Holy smokes. 
That <laughs> Jeff Hardy, good Lord. Nothing Je wrong with that timing. Jeff Hardy had just enough time to compose himself on the top rope to break it up. The tag made to hook the tag made to Ethan Page. Interesting pairing here, I like it. Hook was looking for the T-bone. Ethan Page, he's felt that before from Hook. Oh, oh, what a kick to the jaw. Oh, black belt in Taekwondo, that's the deal with Ethan Page. Kick, man. Or the kid some soup. Good Lord. Uh, he's got a tough jaw, though. Ethan Page could be thinking Ego's edge. Hook, he kicks the legs. He gets out of it. He's looking for Red Bull. Yeah, he's looking for that Red Bull. Oh, man. Oh, what? The guns from behind, but the Hardys. Oh, match is falling apart. They're Referee's losing oh, control. A couple of twists of fate, though. Twists of fate all around. That clears the deck, fellas. And Somewhat. Ethan Page. And then there was one whose contract will be in the hands of Matt Hardy. Were he to lose this match, I think that realization is finally setting in. Oh! Oh, Ethan Page is a <laughs> setting duck. And oh, the duck's going to sleep. Red Rum is locked in, and Ethan Page taps out. Quickly taps out emphatically. Right hand. It's almost as if the blood of Vance fired him up, man. That Look happens it. sometimes. Then you can run out of gas. Right. And it's a bad spot here for Hook. Two on one. And go over Noble. Maybe think a double choke slam or Ooh. something. But oh, Hook. Oh, oh. 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 Taken over the top by Hook, but you see Hook. the fatigue setting in on Vance. Take Hook's foot slipped on that water and blood on the outside. Inadvertently, it helped because uh, his opponent landed on his head. And remember, this is a Texas tournament. Oh, no! Goodness, discus lariat by Vance. Got a lot of momentum behind that, guys. It's a Texas tornado tag team match. It's basically anything goes on the outside, but the pinfall must occur inside the ring. Watch this. this, this and, discus line here. Hook move. No! That's a big shot. Wow. But he can see the resilience, Dude. the toughness Hook will bring. Yeah, and he's, he's being dragged into the ring here now by a chain. And Vance with the chain wrapped around Hook's neck. This is brutal. This is, I mean, I think even more brutal than we thought it would be. Yeah, I agree. Texas Tornado, very unpredictable. Weapons, violence. But Hook, he's hes fading, but he's not giving up. Vance, what does Vance have in mind now? I'm not sure, but Hook's in a bad way. That blood on Hook is not his oh. own blood. Let's go! Oh, no. Holy smokes! Oh, my God! Jack I came flying in with the chair. The t -ball. I'm not sure if that's Vance's blood or Hook's. I'm not sure oh it matters. God. Inside the ring, Jack Perry. DDT on the chair on release to go. Gonna get him. He's got him. Jack's got Jack him. Covers now. Oh, oh, Jose there. Son of a. That no good pizza. Good Jose. And Jose. After breaking up the pinfall attempt. Come on. Oh, Jose don't know what's behind him. Choke his ass out for us all, please. Thank you. Hook. Yes! Oh! Red Rum locked in. Release to go. The drop toe hold. Jack Perry. Snare trap. The snare trap sits in. Gotta get locked and to listen to that jet. What? Jack. It's a risk to do something here. Jack Perry. Oh! Draping DDT on the floor. Now the toughness, the resilience of Hook becomes the issue as Jack immediately returns to the ring and he wants to win via count out. Of course he does. He wants every shortcut he can get. And maybe he's had enough. Hook's not moving. What the hell? Is oh. Let's take another look at the draping DDT. Hook's ankles, his feet oh. on the ring apron. The head driven into that thin mat on the outside. We've mentioned so many times that Matt there to prevent lacerations, nothing more. What is he at eight? He's got to get Paul the ring. Turner. He's at eight. At eight, now nine. Hook beats the ten count, much to the chagrin of Jack Perry. You can see it on the face of Jack Perry. Hook struggling to get to a vertical base, though. Oh, look at the eyes of Hook. And now Jack is trying to punk him out. Yeah, with those brand new black boots. Oh, oh, oh wow, swing and a miss. Yeah, but he got to his feet in a hurry, guys. Hook, though, dropping to after is landing the elbow. Oh, Jack Perry, the German suplex. He deadlifted him over the top, oh. and Hook is at his feet. Telling you, you could see it in the eyes when he first rolled in the ring. He was back into this thing. He's a straight BMF, I promise you. 
Swing and a miss by Jack Perry. Thrust kick avoided. Oh, no. Hook. Hook's going to drive this dude into the mat. A waist lock. Oh. German suplex. High bridge. Two and oh, 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 oh. Jack Perry kept the clasp. He's got those. He's got strong hands, strong wrists. Hook does. He might go for another one, guys. Jack Perry barely, nearly beating the three oh, count. God. He got folded in half. Hook two and oh. Jack again. But Hook maintains control of the waist. Those Germans take a hell of a lot out of you, especially with a back ox like Hook has. And Jack Perry putting his hands on referee Paul Turner. And oh, oh. Low blow. The referee couldn't see it. Jack's body was in the way. Jack Perry once again cutting corners. And oh, now, no, 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 no. The elbow strike to the back of the head. Is this going to be it? The cover. Two and oh. Right now, Perry's incensed. He thought for sure it was over. We very nearly had a brand new FTW champion, were it not for the toughness of Hook. I almost swallowed my tongue, man. That was close. Now, Jack Perry putting his hands on the FTW championship. That title that he oh, said, what the hell? Hook was waving in his face that Hook was taunting him with. There you go. And as you mentioned earlier, this is an FTW rules. It's not. It's right. Oh, Jack dropped the belt hook. Look. Oh, Paul Turner. He got sandwiched in the corner and now. Oh, oh, right on his head. The head and arm suplex. Hook makes the, the cover. And the referee's not there to count. Son of a. Fans counted to seven on that one, guys. And Hook. Realizing that the official is down. Trying to rouse Paul Turner. Shake and do something. Just trying to wake him up. Paul Turner, obviously very dazed. I think he may have collided heads. Definitely yeah. did. I mean, he definitely. But, but the bell jack to hurry. The FTW Championship. He cracked Hook with the title. Oh, my. Oh, guys, no. Guys, guys, Hook is out. Hook got blasted with oh, that. No. He's out. Jack Perry drops oh, no. the arm. This Paul Turner. No. We've got a new FTW champion. The winner of this match and new FTW champion, Jack Perry. I guess uh, Jack Perry's gonna arrive in style here. Didn't realize he's a car service guy. He's got a lot of money. He's a Hollywood guy. And, I mean, is is the Jack Perry that we're seeing now, is that the true Jack Perry that it's been all along? The, the, the spoiled brat, so to speak. Well, I, I think it's evident. And you know what they say, JR, people show you who they are, believe them, right? Exactly, and hey, we live in a society where uh, the so-called elite but to flaunt their eliteness. And Jack Perry is from Hollywood royalty. Oh, Hook? <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling that Jack thinks he's going to walk out and soak in these people. And his opponent, weighing 190 pounds, he is the FTW champion, Jack Perry. Hey, you know, guys, uh, some of the boys in the back are going to make fun of old Jack for not coming in a stretch limo. That's one of those uh, diminutive limos, but it's a limo. It's got six doors, though. It's pretty big. He's going to have a visitor right about now. Yeah, Jack Perry on top of the limo. Hook striding confidently up the ramp. Hook has been simmering. He has been focused on oh, revenge. Oh, 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 and Hook get things started. And the bell has rung the FTW Championship match. And look at the driver just bailing out. Yeah, he definitely did. We saw no collar, no bow tie as traditional to start this matchup between two of the most highly rated young guys in all of pro wrestling. It was last month, blood and guts in Ooh. Boston. Jack Perry defeated Hook, the only loss of Hook's career to become FTW champion. And Hook, oh, <laughs> sends Jack into the door of the limousine. Jump back, Jack. And I'll tell you what, this back's got to be killing him after that. 
And again, this is all legal. It's FTW rules, so Anything it doesn't goes. matter. Anything goes. Yeah. As Jack and Hook now fighting on top of the limo. Both men, this is this is tough territory for them to be in, JR. Yeah, that is. It's very slick up there. Hey, well, yeah, and you know one thing, another thing is the referee can't make any bad calls. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, oh, oh. oh the suplex right on the top of this car. High and tight throw, uh, almost a brain buster. It was. Jack Perry began the year 2023 saying his goal was to become a singles champion. As we take another look at this, Hook, his spine punished on the top of that limousine. Take a look. I think Jack's got something in mind if you go back live. He's got, he, Hook's not moving on that hood. As Jack, oh wait, he's channeling his inner uh, RVD here. Yeah, Rob Van Dam, the man that, oh, Perry. God. Defended the FTW Championship against now the cover one two and oh, pick out Shows a lot of toughness to be able to kick out of that predicament. I'll tell you that oh, there's a, That's it's a giant engine underneath that car under that hood obviously let's take a look at this of hook and now Jack Perry with designs to send hook crashing through the windshield Or maybe hook yeah. so quick here gonna turn things around hook uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. The no. cover two and oh, Jack able to kick out. And it's flattered. It didn't shatter, thank God, but it's not over yet. Damn. Bring a little New York City right here to London. Look at this, the fisherman Look buster. At this. Oh, you could hear it. Yeah, that was Jack Perry's upper and lower back. That was his spine that breaking glass. his spine breaking glass is what it was. And the match continues is what it is. Lacerated on the left arm. Expectedly so after being hooked into that windshield. Catching rapid punches to the back of the head. That weakens someone. You punch him in the back of the head. Oh, but as a perfect shot that by Jack was almost going to the same direction. And now Jack oh! at Hook at ringside now. The spine of Hook. The ring post ain't going to sell. Excalibur is not going to sell. It's not going to capitulate. Nothing. And, oh, no, no. The, the ankles of Hook on the barricade. Jack, they get draping DT. And that's going to be, it's going to be a miracle if this young kid can kick out of, or get back in the game after that. He's trying to get back the FTW title. That was his, is Hook. Jack Perry just dropped Hook hard on his head. He can go for a cub on the outside. It is false count anywhere. I mentioned Jack Perry's ambitions at the start of the year. He said he was going to hold a singles championship in AEW. He was repelled by MJF, the four-way match, a double or nothing. Then by Sonata for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door. And it was the unexpected betrayal that led to him. Jack Perry being crowned FTW champion. As there you see at the bottom of your screen, we're just over 20 minutes away. Now just under 20 minutes away, all in London, live at the top of the hour on Believe to Report. You got time, folks. Bottom line, you got time. Don't miss this pay-per-view. I think the investment is something you're going to talk about for years. It's Jack Perry sandwiching the uh, trash can into the face. Is Jack Perry going to go coast to coast? Yeah, you might be thinking that. Trying to channel Rob Van Dam once again. Non-stop flight. Can he take off? Can he do it? Jack Perry. No, he doesn't. Took it away from him. I'm kind of glad he did. Just disrespect. Looks about, yeah, I, I think he's out, man, from that DDT on the floor. I think, I think you might be right, Taz. He's not moving well. He's not been moving well since that DDT on the floor as Jack Perry standing high. All in London. Oh, these two kids are in great shape to the pillars that the AEW is going to be built upon in oh, years to come. German suplex, two and. But they revert back to basic fundamentals more often than not. And yeah. I love that. Yeah, these Germans, they definitely will take it out of you. Got to pop it up. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to reinvent the wheel offensively to get something a cute name, for God's sakes. Taz, though, I'm not sure Jack Perry wants to get in a prolonged suplex exchange with Hook. No, it's definitely not a smart idea for him to. Oh, but he got some. Oh, man. That's a, that time, but. Oh! Thrust kick connects. Bringing out through Wembley Stadium, swinging a miss there by Jack Perry. And now uh -oh, Hook. Uh oh. German suplex, high bridge in. 
Oh, no. Nice high bridge, just not quite enough. So tough man, a good looking suplex. It was after the offense put on him. It's tough when you again the handfall attempt. I've said it a lot. Germans take a lot out of the guy taking and the guy giving it. You're landing on your head in that bridge. Hook's keeping his clasp. He's trying to pull Jack off that top rope. Yeah, but Jack. Oh, Jack for the low shot. blow. Jack for the low blow. He's got a caught here in his capture. Oh, 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 Jack's head hit before anything else, I think. Jack Perry's head Jack to the canvas. Here got him. And a Jack Perry. I thought he was cooked, but. Hey, me too. He was able to kick out. You get a great look at the fans joining us here at Wembley Stadium all in one, and they're still filing in. Uh, I'd like to see another look if we can sometime. I, I think that this kid's head and neck were just oh, jammed. Hook was, he was signaling that he was going to go for those cross, cross faces. faces. yeah. But Jack Perry used it as an opportunity to gouge the eyes. Remember, it's legal here. FTW oh. rules, Tiger Driver, center of the ring, two and, oh, very, very close. Very physical matchup. Big time. These guys hate each other. JR, Lock attention. I don't think Hook has been right since that DDT on the floor. You see him clutching the top of his head. Definitely could be the brain buster that was on that limo, too. That could have been it, too. And this crowd, so emotional. They're going to be so into oh. the so far into everything. Jack Perry driving that trash can into the midsection of the cold hearted, handsome double hook. I'm not big of these. Uh, Matches like this at times because it takes away from the ability to wrestle. And these two kids know how to wrestle. They do, and we've seen that obviously, but it, again, it's part of these FTW rules, which I'm guilty of creating many years ago. <laughs> oh, what is gonna happen? Maybe he's thinking, I don't know if he's thinking moonsault or what? Carry nobody home! Oh, and the Lariat turning Jack inside out! The neighbors move, there's nobody home, it's right. And Hook with the trash can aloft! And crashing down on the skull of Jack Perry. He's rocking some new gear, too. That's right. That scrambled the brains. Clockwork Orange inspired attire tonight by Hook. How fitting here in London as the cross faces rain down. And Hook down and hooks in. Red Rum. Red Rum is locked in. Is he going to tap? He's got that Red Rum locked in. And uh, Jack. Jack trying to get to the bottom rope. That's his only salvation right now. He got it. No salvation. Oh, oh. Welcome back to Rampage Grand Slam on TNT. The FTW champion Hook desperately needs a tag in this mixed trios match and may have just created the opportunity he needed. And Orange Cassidy seeing his first legal action of the match, bouncing the heads of Menard and Parker off the turnbuckle. Love how he used the momentum of his opponents against them. I'd given them credit earlier for their intelligence, but right now they're proving me wrong as Cassidy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here it comes. The hands in the pockets, the double clothesline avoided. And the drop kick connects Orange Cassidy up to his feet. And Cassidy, a little bit of a receipt there for Jake Hager after what happened earlier. Great job of turning right around and going right back to the ring by Cassidy. Cassidy comes around, DDT, no block by Menard. Parker right there to staunch the momentum, but Hook. Oh, smart move. Tag Team Instincts kicking in for Hook here. Hook with the assist, some clubbing blows by the FDW champion, and Whoa. Anna Jay just put the brakes on it. What is, what the hell? It's Anna it's trying like to shift the odds. And Stadlander. Now, Triple suplex by a Hook, Orange Cassidy, and Chris Statlander. I don't think I've ever seen a triple suplex before. A double one, yes, but not a triple one. And now the pad comes off. This is usually the prelude to the Orange Punch. No. Parker able to duck into the waiting drop toe hole. Oh, wow. Narn and a taste there for Orange Cassidy with the elbow. Plus the back, but the team on my Hook. Great continuity from Parker and Daddy Magic, but Hook able to turn the tide right here. Sometimes raw athletic power will reign supreme. That was great teamwork prior to that by Bernard and Parker. Oh, wait, Hook looking to stack up enough and Parker, three consecutive T-bones. And now Anna J. Anna J. Watch out! Oh, 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 no! Again! Anna J. the double maker with the orange punch connects by Cassidy. He laid him out. 
Oh, wait. Anna Jay trying to lock in the Queen Slayer on Orange Cassidy. But Statlander with the assist. And Statlander with Anna Jay on her shoulders. Look. Oh. Now with the red rum locked in on Daddy Magic. Anna Jay planted. Daddy Magic's fading. Orange punch for Angelo Parker. The Parker's out. And now the cover. Two. The FTW champion Hook, the TBS champion Chris Statlander, and freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy, Chris Statlander, the cold hearted, handsome double hook victorious tonight on Rampage of Fans. Have really cut the ring off in half and have isolated Hook. Highly effective. Yeah. This young man from St. Mark's place. He's gonna have to really dig down deep to try and get over there towards Rob Van Dam and make the tag. He has control. Right now, Menard called Daddy Magic for a reason. The way he controls his opponent is magic. Stout, Bruce, short-tempered Menard. What a man to mess with. Tons of international experience as well. And on this big stage in West Michigan, they're getting it done. We are live on AEW Collision. And that is Hook, 37 and one in AEW competition. Numbers disadvantage Whoa. against Daddy Magic, cool hand in. And yeah, that's right, that's Rob Van Dam. That's his tag partner. Cleared the path. But, oh. Oh, Mike Posey, the referee, saw how close Hook's hand was to RVD's, but couldn't make the tag. Brilliant timing from Parker. But wait a second. Exploder suplex. Pop the hips and watch it fly. If Hook doesn't get to that corner and tag in RVD, this match is going to go the way of the former members of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Jake Hager, Anna Jay, imploring the team. Looks in getting closer. Stop the tag, but they can't. Here we go. Look at this. No wasted offense. Oh. Textbook Rob Van Dam. Hold on. Awkward landing in the ropes, and Menard's gonna capitalize on it. Yeah. Ange got all the weight of RVD down on top of him. Oh! Toe of the boot, right on the bridge of the nose. Yeah, Menard and Parker certainly not listening to Jerry Lynn's advice, but empty corner. Hang on a second, Adam Chase up with the referee. Hold on, here comes Jake Hager. Watch out. Got him. Never hit a man with glasses. And now Hook, uh-oh. Look at this, lock it in. The Kata Hachibe. He calls that red run. Oh, and he's got it hooked in. Red run. Hook holding him up. the team of the FTW champion Hook and Rob Van Dam. From first making a name for himself in a little building on the corner of Swanson and Rittner in Philly, what's your problem, Jake Hager? Taking his act on the road all around the world and now all these years later getting a team with Hook, a second generation star who's a star in his own right, getting a tag team win here in his backyard. A triumphant homecoming for Rob Van Dam. The best out of Battle Creek. 
And what a moment here on a Saturday night. Plenty of action still to come here tonight on Collision. As we told you, it was back in 2001 here in this venue. Let's know. Orange Cassidy blocks. And guns taking over the top. Guys, I don't want to take away from the match here, but I'm looking over here. Which has Ray Phoenix been taken out? I can't see on my screen. Yep. Oh, uh, Doc Guns is down in the corner. But yeah, to your point, Tony, I have not seen the yeah. international champion anywhere near his corner. Hook. Looking perhaps for the T-bone there, but the guns numbers just too much for the FTW champion. Now Penta enters the fray. Puts on the brakes, kick to the face for Colton Gunn. And staggers Austin with that one. And he just bounced right up into his arms again. Well done! Boom! Oh, took too long. A wow. Line side shot by Colton Gunn. And now Hook being dragged to the corner. It looks like the guns now are really the only team to be showing real cohesion here. And perhaps it does speak to that blood lineage that you mentioned earlier. With Ray Fenix essentially, essentially taken out of play, Penta at a disadvantage, a huge disadvantage in this match. Orange Cassidy. You know, he would love to tag in to take some of the pressure off of Hook. Austin Gunn, though. Yeah, he's just measuring him right now. Those jabs and... Oh, right hand. What footwork? Cover! Lateral press. Hook able to kick out. You know, the Guns already former tag team champions and a fine tag team, as we talked about. They've gotten better, though, as since they've become part of Bullet Club Gold. Ah. They certainly have. I mean, they've really risen to new heights. The Bang Bang Gang have run rough shot on Saturday nights. What a way to prove that the Guns have gotten even better. Then with oh. a second reign as AEW World Tag Team Champions, but cover here by Colton Gunn. Oh. Nice what we're seeing here is the hook can take a punch, man. Well, you've got to think as well, the guns have got to be upset after Wednesday night. Leader of Bullet Club Gold got attacked backstage as we saw earlier tonight. That figure in the devil mask was it MJF. MJF claims that the mask was, was stolen from his locker room, that he had nothing to do with it. Right. As Hook reaching, trying to make that tag. No! That's great work by Austin Gunn. Great work. And now Hook, any port in a storm, he's looking. Well, look at Austin Gunn get involved again. The Bucks taking off the apron. And now Penta, the last man, still upright, the last man that can provide any relief for Hook, and the tag is made! No fear, Penta off the top. Penta ducks the Larry to attempt, turns the corner, sling blade. Another one, this time for Colton. Penta rolls through, DDT! Austin Gunn sending Penta into the corner, but Penta back, stab Try to cover him. No, maybe not, he's not done. A flurry of offense continues. Solid contact on the thrust kick, dropping Austin Gunn. Nope. Penta counters, he's got him hooked, Whoa. made in Japan. Colton got planted. The lateral press, two, and Austin Gunn turned around just in time. At this late point in the match, it certainly looks as though this is the Guns match to lose. Yeah. Everybody else on the floor. You know, I agree, Nigel. I think the Guns have really risen in this match. They've been Ooh. the most effective team. And to kick out after that devastating maneuver. Wait a second. Matt Jackson coming in to try and steal it. Oh, but Orange Cassidy, Ooh. the DDT. Cassidy up to his feet. Low bridge, sends Orange out to the floor. Nick Jackson plants Austin and it comes off the apron. Perpetual motion, Nick Jackson is incredible. Oh wait, Penta, what is he thinking? As a oh, tag was made here, there's that blind tag we Penta talked about. Over the top, a heads up move by Hook. He's now legal. 
along with Austin Gunn. Austin, who started that whole exchange, he hit the quick draw. And now, Red Rum! Red Rum very nearly locked in. Austin Gunn fighting desperately. Yeah, but Hook's not letting go. Well, there he goes. Orange punch! Oh. It's a Red Rum! There it is! Hook oh. has it locked in! The body scissors as well. Oh, oh. there was a tag, Mike. Well done. And now, Hook down with Red go. Rum. Red Rum locked in. Nick Jackson, the oh. 450 onto the pile! Austin was tapping, but the tag had been made. And now, Nick Jackson looking to cover, but Cassidy oh. breaks it out. Oh. We knew this was going to be chaotic. Another tag. Take a look. We can see clearly upon your screen the tap. It was no longer legal at that point. And now Penta is looking for the fear factor on Orange Cassidy. Cassidy may be thinking beach break here. As kicked in the face. Cassidy saw his head just rock back. Hook, no. What is Hook is Penta. Now, now, Pence is legal, or excuse me, Nick Jackson's legal. As... Wait a second, look at this. What the hell are we looking at? No! Who got the worst of that? I don't know. Oh, super kicks on hook. Super kicks for Colton Gunn. Interception there by Penta. He fires back. Now, Nick Jackson. Oh. A bit of a slip and a oh. Larian super kick combo. Yeah, a bit of a slip, but he stayed right with it. Did a great job. BTE trigger. Bucks gonna win it. Three, the Bucks have done it. You win it in this match. There's Uno. You're right. Boot and Hook trying to escape the grip, but Silver there oh, sets, yeah. sets Hook spilling down to the floor. Took a nasty spill right there. It looks like he, he split his legs that time. Uh, he's got good flexibility. Takes a lot to hurt him. I think he's fine. I mean, maybe it's tough parenting, but I think he's fine. Yeah. Oh, oh, maybe that wasn't fine. Oof. Now, we talked about the powerful legs of Rob Van Dam. John Silver, no shortage of power in that department. Those kicks. Yeah, those kicks of, of you are right, of John Silver. Not really on par with a guy like Brian Danielson, but pretty darn close. Those round kicks are nasty by Silver. Danielson has some of the best ever. And a guy who's Hook's partner in this thing's got some serious round kicks. I can tell you that from experience. But right now, Hook's got to try to get Van Dam in this thing. But now, nice drop step again, and the mat return attempted. Reynolds gets his feet underneath him. Tag made out to Silver. Connor roll there. Oh, but the blind tag was made. Wow, I don't think Hook realized it, and now paying the price, the power bomb. Oh, he might get a hold. No. Deep cover by Silver, and Hook able to kick out. Upper back that time, neck area, shoulder blades. He hit really hard, did Hook. Yeah, that was a great double team maneuver by the Dark Order for sure. It was phenomenal. Rob Van Dam trying to encourage on his young partner, as is this great crowd in Philadelphia. The action continues live tonight on Dynamite from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The cold-hearted, handsome devil Hook getting overwhelmed by Dark Order or trying to steal his uh, cross faces. He did get thrown here, Silva. All the lights released. And now Hook with a chance to tag in Rob Van Dam. Got to get there. Hook get there. Crawling makes the tag. Van Dam oh, coming in, oh, takes oh, down oh. Silver twice in a row. Third time. Shot on target yeah. from RVD. You talked about those strong legs, Taz. Yeah, no, yeah, man. The quickness of Van Dam all these years still on point. The leaping leg drop connected, but Alex Reynolds there trying to buy his partner an opportunity to recover. Reynolds, Bandera sends him up. Watch the kill. Oh, oh, Rob Van Dam. I've eaten that. <laughs> and now Alex Reynolds has two. Great flexibility for years for Van Dam. He's going rolling thunder, boys. Rob Van Dam rolling yes. thunder. Oh, man. He's going to get the win. That was tremendous. The lateral press and no. Good job right there by Reynolds. And fans, over at AEWTix.com, we've got huge live events coming up, available this Friday. Arlington, Texas. So many, wait, Rob Van Dam, Northern nice. Lights suplex. Good job by Rob, but that Northern Lights and busted up the bridge right there yeah, by John, Silva. John Silva was the legal man. Rob Van Dam just uh, going after anybody within arm's reach, but Silver. Well, they, they're cutting the ring off here, Excal, before Rob. They're trying to build momentum on him like they did with Hook. And there's that. 
Kick by Rob Van Dam again, this time connecting with Silver. Hook tagged in, the fresh man for his side. He's right for the picket right now, Silver is. I feel like, yeah, cross faces are coming. I yeah. can see the way he stalked, stalked, uh, stalked him. John Silver employed those cross faces earlier, now getting a taste yeah. of the cold hearted, handsome devil. Such Tony. force, such momentum with those blows, guys. Well, that's how it's done right across the jawline, and he brings it across the face, and he's going for Red Rum here. Yeah, Red oh, Rum with Reynolds. Yeah. Uh, kick the flat of his boot driven in the side of the head of Hook. And now, Rob Van Dam. Yeah, she, well, the referee's trying to get out. Oh, watch wait, out. What the hell? Oh, no, wait a second. Sharon and no. Uh oh, and Rob Van Dam just cracked Udo. <laughs> Terminated. Watch and out. Oh, steps over, levels Reynolds. And Rob Van Dam, Aubrey Edwards left a bit speechless by that. I know, she's looking around like, what in the? Oh, you want five stars, huh? Fans come to their feet. Five star frog splash. He's not the legal man. That's the issue there. But it's all right. It took. Oh, watch out. Whoa. Silver is looking for that top kick, it. but instead, Hook locks in Red Rum and Silver forced to attack. The camera shot. His his arm went up in the air. There he is. There is the elbow. Yeah, he's hurting. He's definitely hurting. Remember Orange Cassidy's first reign as AEW International Champion. I mean, he had a laundry list. Of, of injuries that, that he carried into that match and all out with John Moxley and ultimately that was Orange Cassidy's undoing. But right now, Blackpool Combat Club dominating the FTW champion and the AEW International champion. Yeah, can, in the driver's seat. Sorry, Tony, go ahead. No, I was saying you can better believe before we get to full gear, John Moxley is going to want to expose those injuries. Maybe bring oh, injury oh, back. Oh, look, here. Looking for Red Rum, perhaps. I mean, how about that? Good job, kid. Right, but go right for it. You know, man, wrong corner, though. Sweeps the leg and sends Hook crashing into the barricade at ringside. Oh, but who's Cassidy? Where did he come from? I don't know, but it was perfectly done by Orange Cassidy. Moxley was sent into the barricade and now back into the ring, and there's Hook. He's gonna get this foe off here. Oh, Hook. Got that T-bone. Yeah, T-bone for John Moxley there, and now making the tag to Orange Cassidy. International champion up to the top. And that's your champ's gonna fly. Oh! Diving DDT plants Moxley, but look at Moxley, he's still on his knees. He's holding his ribs. I thought it was his elbow. Yeah, you're right, he's on his knees. I thought it'd be flattened out here. Now he's playing these head games, but we've seen Orange Cassidy of late. He does this, then he turns up the pace. Especially when it comes to Moxley. Moxley absorbing all of them right now. Yeah, he's eating them. Can't wait for this Saturday. Full gear on pay-per-view. Bleacher Report, Moxley, Orange Cassidy, part two. As Cassidy looking for the DDT there. Moxley puts on the brakes, and now Yuta taking advantage. Smart move by you to clear out the partner and then go into the... Might get it here. Moxley, the leg hooked. Kick, kick out there, and fans, action in our opening contest continues in picture in picture. Don't go anywhere. Well, right now, there's another cover here by Yuta on Orange Cassidy. Quick kick out, but they have singled out and cut the ring in half. Oh, watch your back there, huh? No. Look, once again, Swept off the apron by a member of the Blackpool Combat Club and sent crashing hard into the steps. Yeah, I tell you, the BCC has done a great job here in dividing and conquering, if you, if you know what I mean. You're they, exactly right, yeah. Giovanni. Your, your breakdown is exactly right. You read my mind, because that's what they've done. They have singled out one man and kept it a, a two-on-one situation. Right. Now we saw Wheeler Yuta execute the spinning toe hold. Now the legs of Orange Cassidy all tied up. And any time Orange Cassidy Gets in the ring with uh, with Wheeler Yuta. You have to remember that Orange Cassidy was formerly a mentor to Wheeler Yuta. Wheeler Yuta turned all of that away, turned all of that aside when he joined with the Blackpool Combat Club, effectively turning his back on the Orange Cassidy and best friends. Don't forget, we still have that still to come, that street fight, uh, and also obviously MGF. We're going to hear from MGF, who's a man alone, basically. He's in deep trouble. Yeah, MGF. The only potential ally for MJF seems like it's it's Samoa Joe, and if if MJF accepts Joe's help, he's got to grant Joe an AEW World Championship title match. See right there, just crushing the face. Moxley is with those big dirty boots of Orange Cassidy, right in the face, and then a heavy chop. As you said, at Blackpool Combat Club in the driver's seat of this match. I mean, 
Orange Cassidy hook, tried to jump the gun, tried to get the jump on the BCC, but since then, I mean, Moxley and Utah just turned things around. Well, they had to know, the team of Orange Cassidy hook, they had to know that they would get some sort of response out of what happened, and they're getting it right now. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do the nails right across the back. Oh, God, that hurts. Digging the fingernails into the flesh of Orange Cassidy, and now Whoa. digging the, the oh. teeth into the flesh of Orange Cassidy. Hey, I, like it or not, I, I, I respect that out of Moxley by any means necessary. Bring the violence. He's the sensei of that jitsu, man. Now, Orange Cassidy being brought up and down. Superplex delivered by Moxley. Near leg hook. Cassidy able to kick out. I, I guess biting is a form of death jujitsu. Is that it? Well, uh, yeah, it's, it's all sorts of forms of things. There's definitely. <laughs> a lot of grappling involved and, right. and biting at sorts and yeah. scratching your person's skin off their body. No, oh, great. Yikes. I could say it better than that. <laughs> I'll fix it in post. AW Dynamite live on TBS. We are in the home stretch headed into full gear this Saturday live on pay per view. But right now, the Blackpool Combat Club, John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta, just an absolute. Dominant performance on Orange Cassidy and Hook here, Tony. Absolutely, and what, once again, like we talked about during the break, just dividing the team, conquering, and keeping each man away from each other. It's been basically a double team that kept them in their corner tabs. No, they have. It's been smart game plan, and Orange Cassidy is starting to get a little tick off with Moxley mocking him. He's tough, this Orange Cassidy. A lot of fortitude. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, we know how he is, but. And that is what he's just saying, the hell with you. Yeah, playing those head games yeah. with his opponent, a rivalry, not oh. just, oh! But Cassidy quickly up to his feet, connects with the drop kick, and now he needs to connect up. to make the tag. Yeah, he's on, man. He couldn't do the kip up. Hurting. He wants to tag Hook in this thing. Yeah, so oh, he's got it. Hook makes the tag, as does Moxley. Now Yuta and Hook teeing off on one another. Yeah, these two young cats right here just exchanging blows. And we've talked, you talked about the tension between these two. We've seen over a couple of weeks now. It seems like it's just building. It's all coming to a head here tonight on Dynamite. Neither man with the advantage after this prolonged strike exchange. I love seeing two young athletes just go at it and not give in at all. Either man. But oh, look at, look at Hook. Yeah, Hook does gain the advantage. Back and oh, oh, up to the corner. Nice wow. headbutt there. Cardio watch. It takes a lot out of both these guys. Nice underdog throw here. Northern Lights suplex and I've done throws after doing a big heavy exchange. It's tough cardio wise to hit. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> Hook return, wow. returning the favor to Moxley from earlier. Tip for ten. Absolutely. Good job, Hook. Oof. Now, elbow strike, Yuta hangs on to the bottom rope. All right, good drop. He's got a good German suplex, this wheel of Yuta, I know that. Release German. Good roll through on it, though. Oh, but Hook comes up. German suplex. Yuta planted high on the shoulders, but Yuta. Yuta rolling elbow strike. Caught Hook in the top of the head there. Oh, but both men, same idea, both men down. Hell of a confrontation between these two young men, and the, and the fans love it here in Ontario, California. Yeah, respect for these two young, tough lines. They're both down right now. You might have to assume whoever can get to their feet first might have an advantage to make a tag for their team, but neither of their teammates are on the apron at the moment. Referee Bryce Ramsey giving the 10 count to both men. And you know, we, we've talked a lot about the rivalry between Orange Cassidy and John Moxley. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of this, this developing rivalry between Wheeler Yuta and Hook. I personally love it. I mean, I love it, but they got, get up, Hook. Get him, get up. The eight count. And he smokes. Yeah, this is this is what that prolonged strike exchange does. I mean, yeah, it wears you down, man. It really wears you down. They're head to head. Oh! oh. Moxley. What a blindside shot. Coming in, but Oof. Orange Cassidy. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Just dragging Moxley out. Turning into a fight here. Yeah, there, there's what there's part of what we're going to see coming up on Saturday night. Orange at Cassidy, Gear. Orange Cassidy really, really had hooks back there. Oh, Hook oh, is schoolboy. Escapes out of the grip of Yuta. Rolls up Yuta. Wheeler with the escape, and now Hook, a lariat, takes down Wheeler Yuta. I like the follow through on it. Soaking in the people, he's hurting though. No. Yeah, you see the grimace on the face of the FTW champion. It's been a physical battle to kick off Dynamite. 
Oh, watch it back. Hold on. Oh, 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 my God. God. No matter where he comes from. Great timing right there. By the veteran brawler himself, the nasty mocks. I don't like this. Oh, oh, punch. punch! Punch it! Look at John Moxley! Boy, he just ate it, didn't he, Taz? What the hell? Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, man, he just said, bring it on. Look, Taz, he's looking at. Should I reload it? John Moxley oh, ate that for lunch. Dude, that was a beautiful orange punch. Yes, it was. Moxley's hands were down. Hook him, hook him, hook him. Hook that, yeah! Hook looking for Red Rob Moxley. To get him here. Moxley senses the, da the danger. Oh, oh Yuta there. Yuta, the, the well-timed shot. Oh, Death, Death Rider. Man. Yeah, man. And now Yuta turns watch the back. corner. Watch out, watch out. He's got Hook tight. He's got the seatbelt locked no. down. He's got the victory. Now it is a match. Sean Moxley and Wheeler. Off the hook, not to move too much there, just to try and find an out. You don't need to move too much, believe it or not. You know, you mentioned earlier, and I think it's worth mentioning here for our fans watch on ITV that, uh, yeah, we are coming back to Wembley, and tickets go on sale December 1st. Pre-sales go on sale Monday. I hope you've registered by now. Ticketmaster.co.uk AEW or slash AEW Wembley 2024 hook trying to make the tag but the power of Hager the strength just too much. Yeah, he's a monster Hager giant monster He's yeah. fighting valiantly right now hook is but they're just tagging out quickly very smart snap suplex by inch Yeah, it, it there's a cover. It, it, it's tough. I mean, Hook's doing all he can, but when you get triple teamed in the quarter, as you know, Tad, it's a tough place to be, man. Very tough. Very, very tough. And again, back to an on bar. These guys have great strategy right now. And the wrestler with the least experience out of Shibata, Orange Cassidy, and Hook, they zoned in on Hook. But I have faith in the cold-hearted, handsome devil. Yeah, Katsuyori Shibata, 24 years of in-ring experience. The FTW champion, Hook, only 24 years of age. Shibata had his first match when Hook was about six months old. I'm sure you remember that very fondly, Tess. <laughs> I, I do remember when Hook was six months old, I do. I probably was on the road. <laughs> no doubt. The ring has been cut in half. Hook, the FTW champion, has been isolated by the team of Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, Cool Hand Angelo Parker, and Jake Hager. But the opening, the opportunity for Hook potentially to make a tag. Yeah, Hook exploded that left corner, showing good first step explosion. Twitch muscle speed right there. Got to get that tag, though. Got to get that tag. And Parker, we talked about the tag team experience of Parker. He did a good job of keeping Hook isolated and keeping, keeping him, or preventing him from making a tag, but whoa, whoa. Hook now. Looking for a T-bone here, I think. T-bone suplex is on, a, oh, well done there. Yeah, T-bone on the menu for the FTW champion and makes the tag to the international champion. Orange Cassidy comes in a shot for Hager, ducks under the lariat attempt by Menard. Orange Cassidy's cooking right now, guys. And DDT! He's cooking. Sometimes he gets that to work, sometimes he doesn't. That time it was perfect. Here comes the punch. The oh, orange punch. Oh, no. Intercepted yeah. by Hager. Yeah, just a massive monster for former world heavyweight champion, Hager. Man's man is what he is, guys. No doubt. Over oh, this. Stunned on millionaire Hager. Staggered at Shibata. The legal man. Oh, this is going to be something. Oh, Shibata not waiting. Yeah, buddy, he's not intimidated at all by Hager. I don't know about this, Shibata. Don't go punch for punch with this guy. Both of these men with mixed martial arts experience, Katsuyori Shibata and Jake Hager, but the big boot lands in the face of Shibata. Second one. Wow, Shibata's getting fired up. And the third, no, Shibata bypasses, puts on the brakes, and pop! Kick by Shibata on that target. Was, that was great by Shibata, awesome. And oh, Hager, though, just a running knee lift. It's that size and power and experience of Hager. And, oh, good quickness. Nice slip by Shivada out of the corner. And that. Wow, chop. Holy smokes, not many people have said that. Nation, yeah. Beat down Jake Hager like that, Excalibur. And Shivada with Hager down in the corner. He likes that running drop kick and on wow. target. Oh, oh. And that'll light you up. I don't care if you're Jake Hager or not. That was phenomenal. Katsuyori Shibata, the big drop kick in the corner. Hager 
Hager may be stunned after yeah, that. That might be rocked for sure, Hager. But Menard and Parker. Oh, they're doubling up right now on Shibata. Referee's got to try to get a little control, but he's trying. He's telling his guys that is a legal ta tag. Cool hand, Angelo Parker, the legal man. And yeah, Menard's got to get out of there. Oh, Jake, no. Jake made the tag. Go for this power ball. Dan Howes it now. Oh, he's got the hat. That's Jake, Jake Hager's old hat. Jake Hager, the purple hat. Oh, no. And this. Hager's incensed. He's pissed. And he's cursed. Almost. Not yet. Oh, no, he's got him. He's cursed. Oh, hit him in the mid six with the curse. And oh, Orange Cassidy. The elbow drives Hager to the barricade. Orange Cassidy slips back in. And really, Orange Cassidy ticking off. <laughs> Daddy Magic and Cool Hand Edge. Shibata legal. Now Hook's legal. Shibata rolled through, made the tag to the cold hearted, handsome devil. Unbeknownst to the men in the ring. And, oh, look at this, double sleepers, Red Rum and the sleeper by Shibata, but they've got the opposite man. I think, I think Hook and Parker are legal, so, oh, they, they traded, oh. they traded. <laughs> That's oh. great. Tremendous. Oh, orange punch. Orange punch on Hager, the Red Rum is locked in, and Parker taps out. Destroyed. Oh, oh that. Veteran move. We've seen a couple of examples of that early on from Rocky. I think Rocky Romero feels a little bit slighted by young Hook there. Billy Pat took a couple of liberties with him. Hook. Hook. Nice. Tried to escape the oh, man. He uh, That was a great, great stop by Hook that time. Uh oh, caught him. Pick up. Whoa. Oh, Rocky landed on his hip that time. And Good landing, yeah, for Romero at one time was the fourth incarnation of the legendary Black Tiger, previously worn by such men as Mark Rollable Rocco and Eddie Guerrero. And of course, Rocky Romero held the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship as Black Tiger, says he's gonna to continue to wrestle until he captures that championship as Rocky Romero. It could happen soon. Duck low did Rocky Romero, and both men come across with a Larry and both go down hard. Look like Romero got the worst of that, though. Hook has all business. We've known that from seeing him. A no-nonsense type of athlete. Tenacity, toughness, nasty disposition as well. Great athlete, a former D1 lacrosse player at Bucknell and Sacred Heart. And now weight slot pickup. Big time German suplex. That took power that time to get him up. Rocky now trying to just roll out of harm's way here. Trying to get to those ropes, get to the outside. Oh. Uh, Azuka may have put himself in a more dangerous position. Romero there. Hold on. Boy, he picks him up, throws him on his head here. This match could end. Here on the apron, forearm shot. Rocky got loose from that. Rocky oh. boys. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah. He lured Hook in. He sure did. Oh, that time, a vertical suplex on the apron. Good call, Nigel. You lured him in, waiting for him to take the first move, then he caught him. That's a veteran move. Experience. Yep. yep. No question. The experience of Rocky Romero, who has held titles all over Mexico, Japan. Uh -oh. oh! Big double stop from the apron. Fans, we're going to take a very short break here, but the. I want to remind you that we will continue in picture in picture. Don't you dare go anywhere. Oh. Shoulder first into the steel ring post. There you are, sweet as you like. Giving a bit of a savory taste. To Young Hook here, though. How about Rocky Romero going, capturing gold in CMLL in Mexico. Sure. And leading to a sold-out event, Arena Mexico, for the 90th anniversary. That is worldwide headline stuff. Cover two. 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 That's what you call a big-time star, is what that is. And his, his reputation of a gatekeeper because again, a lot of promotions will talk to Rocky. Got a lot of phone numbers. A lot of texts. Oh! Boy, Hook. Heavy shots from the right hand by Hook. 
And now look at Rocky Romero pick him up. Didn't want any more of those chops in the corner. No, Rocky's going to take it for the ride here. Looks like Hook's got a bit of a receipt coming. Superplex! Oh! Big tag superplex in the middle. Turn back off, but Rocky, as you can see, Kevin hit very hard as well. Rocky got it bad. Hook got it worse. Here is the... Oh, could have been a pinning predicament. We are back live on Rampage here on TNT. As we're coming to you from Pittsburgh with a great car tonight, we'll be followed by two hours of a collision. We got tremendous matches coming up for the Continental Classic during the two hours of collision in the Blue League. So stay with us for that. But right now, Rocky Romero, running starts, going to try again. He's going to try a third time here, guys. Yeah, forever close lines. Checks, but Rocky Romero. Uh, one too many times, Hook. Oh! Vicious exploder suplex, and you can see Hook there turning to try to throw his opponent into the corner so that Romero wouldn't land flat. Now, the fourth time was a charm for Hook. He was waiting on him, both men. As you can see, it's been a very high-impact match in a short span here. And the fans starting to chant, let's go, Hook, here in Pittsburgh. Oh, look at that. Back to his judo roots. Beautifully done. Great judo throw by Hook. And the young man ahead of steam here. Oh, boy! I heard that all the way to the oh. back of the arena. Now to the midsection. Here comes Hook. Classic body blows that we've seen from him. Well, Hook's dressed like a boxer. No knee pads. Long boxer shorts. Big headbutt that time from Hook. Hook has both arms hooked over the top. One, two... Almost like a fisherman suplex that time. Yeah, near fall off the northern lights. Almost got it done. Yeah. Watch this go. Going to put away. Huck still seems a little bit stunned out here. Trying to put Romero away and end this match. It was here on the apron of the ring earlier that Huck got in trouble. And now Rocky's got him set up. His part of the strong zero tag finisher. Watch this. That could be it for Huck. Let's see. And led it to eight times as One. tag champ. No, sir. Hook got out of it. And Rocky really disappointed, upset, as a matter of fact, about that, thinking that he won the match. Element of frustration, but this certainly not Rocky Romero's first rodeo. You guys think it's smart asking Hook to get up? I mean... Depends what's coming next, yeah. doesn't it? I, I guess he's... Looking for the big strike. Yeah. There he got it. He Slice got it. bread. One, two, two. no! Oh. That sliced bread numero dos. Lot left in Hook's tank still. In this opening match here tonight on Rampage, we are live, yes, on a Saturday night. Rocky, a lot of times from here, will actually now look for an arm submission or the acai DDT. Leg trip that time by Hook. Hook, though, cannot make a cover. And now, here's the uh, 10 count from Both Reverend Bryce Rigsburg. stunned in this one. Which means that both now, this match hanging in the balance here. Oh, whoa. Hook comes from way back with that spin kick, rear, rear spin kick, and Rocky. Looking for a second time. No. Hook, he's got the red rope locked. He's got the red rope locked. It's in submission, hold the red rope. Rocky going for the ropes, and he may be going out. Yes, it's out. 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 Winner of this match, the NTW champion. How about that for a win, Kevin? How about that? A great way to start this broadcast. Three hours in total tonight with Hook. Rocky said he wanted the best. Who's the future? It might just be that man. Still to come tonight here on Rampage. For the remainder of the hour, we've got Chris Stadlander and Diamante up next. Great story behind that one. The Ring of Honor Pure Championship will be decided as Shibata defends against Wheeler Yuta. And don't forget, Collision will immediately follow Rampage. And a T-bone for Cool Hand Ange.
I can hear Tad saying pop the hips, and that's exactly what the kid does, man. Uno stopping hook in his tracks. Hook goes underneath. Oh boy. Look at the oh, strength oh. of Hook. How about that? How about that? Oh, what? What do we got here? Wheeler Yuta. He regained the Ring of Honor Pure Championship last weekend at Rampage. And, you know, we talked about this, this rivalry that he has had with Hook, who just got blindsided by Daddy Magic. And Wheeler Yuta coming over to our broadcast position, joining us here at the desk, and attracting the attention of Hook is allowing Matt Menard to take advantage. Yuta, welcome to the desk. Thank you, man in the mask. Mr. Shivani, I apologize for being a little late for this match. Uh, I was very excited to get here. You wouldn't believe the traffic in Minneapolis at 10 p.m. Yeah, no, I wouldn't, but I, I can tell you this. It, it seemed to me that you got in just about the time that uh, Hook was finishing off everybody. I mean, he, he was really ruling the ring at that time. Yeah, well, Hook should really learn to not take his eye off the ball, you know? I used to be mentored by Orange Cassidy by the best friends, and then I realized that I needed to find some better guidance. Maybe if Hook would do something like that. He would, you know, have the fundamentals down. He would know not to take his eye off the ball in the middle of a match. And you know that guidance guided you to capturing the, oh, wait a second, cover here by Alex Reynolds. Cover, and Hook able to kick out. You captured the Ring of Honor Pure Championship last weekend, defeating Katsuyori Shibata. It was a very well-wrestled affair until the very end, I will say. Well, I think you, you missed something there. It's a record-setting third time that I captured this Pure Championship. No one else has even captured it twice, I believe. And here I am, the three-time Pure Champion. And you know what? You know what, there were judges. There were different people there, but it doesn't matter. No one saw what happened, so I guess it was all legal, right? Well, the action, our opening contest continues in the next 90 seconds, and picture in picture, don't go anywhere. As Bryce Remsburg trying to restore order, and I mean, I guess you could, Tony, you and I can argue with how it went down with Yuta, but we can't argue with the result. He is, as he said, three-time Ring of Honor pure champion. You know, I, I have a real problem, not with you winning the match. And I know there's many different ways to win matches. You're not the first guy that that won a match that way. Okay, but what bothers me, and and I, and I want to bring it up after we come out of, of out of this break here again. What bothers me is the fact that after the match was over, you attempted to re-injure Shibata. Well, look, you reap what you sow, Tony. You reap what you sow, and he, he did not want to acknowledge the code of honor. That's one of the main tenets of Ring of Honor. If he didn't want to do things honorably, then why should I, huh? Why should I, Tony? Answer me that. Well, That's a great question. Tony, yep. answer him. Which side do you want here, anyway? Well, no, I just want to hear Thank what you're going to Okay, here's my answer. He's wrong for not acknowledging the code of honor. That's not the reason to try to put a man out. I mean, he almost, he almost lost his life back in 2017. Yeah, well, he also took a month of my career with a concussion, so I guess we're even, right? I don't know. I just I just think that's uh, that's beyond. Well, Hook being dominated here. Hey, AW Rampage continues here on TNT. Hook, perhaps with a sliver of hope, he was being overwhelmed by all four opponents, but he is fighting back. And we are joined here at the desk by the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Wheeler Yuta, who is, you've had some hostilities with the cold-hearted, handsome devil, Hook. What, do you, what is that about, exactly? What is that about? It all started when Hook started sticking his nose where it didn't belong. You know, my beef was always with the best friends, but now Hook wants to get involved. If he wants to make it his problem, we can make it his problem. Also, I had mentioned during the break about what you tried to do to Katsuyori Shibata, try to take him out after the match was over. But it seemed that as soon as Hook's music hit and as soon as Hook arrived, you took the low road. You got out of there in a hurry. Now well, there it is again. Hook sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. He knew that I just had an incredibly physically grueling pure championship match with Katsuyori right. Shibata. And now that's when he wants to stick his nose in my business. No, we'll do it another time. Well, Alex Reynolds got the boot up into the face of Trent Barretta. And Barretta brings Reynolds down to earth and then drops him down. Backdrop suplex and now makes the tag to the AEW International Champion, the former mentor of Wheeler Yuta, Orange Cassidy. 
very impressive offense out of Orange, huh? Now, you know, you know why this is. You know it as well as anybody. I get it. Mind games, mind games. Sure, absolutely. It works. And Cassidy really stepping up the pace, though, with those kicks. Ducks under. And lands a drop kick, taking both opponents down. You know, he has really stepped up the pace of Scalpel, like you said. Ever since his battles with John Moxley, his aggression has been at an all-time high. Oh, the DDT, though, blocked, but not the Stun Dog Millionaire Uno. Staggered. And oh, wow. not for long. Lands the high wow. boot. And Uno, he's got Cassidy all tied up. Yes. Something oh. evil. This could be an upset. Two and Beretta throwing his body into the pile. That was most impressive by Evil Uno. Wow. Lands the boot into the face of Trent Barretta. Lands the boot into the face of Orange Cassidy. And Yuta, you gotta like what you're seeing here with your former mentor against the ropes. Absolutely. It's a, you know, very impressive that he was able to get out of that. I guess uh, Trent did have to break it up for him. You know, someone else doing his dirty work yet again. Wow. Oh, wait, Barretta. Release! German suplex off the ropes. And, and Yuta, I gotta argue with you. That's what friends do for one another. Oh, friendship. We're talking about friendship now. Okay, not just a guy being lazy. No, you've had members of the Blackpool Combat Club come and help you out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's called teamwork. Bernard was cursed. Oh, come on. This a foreign object. Oh! That's Jake Hager's old hat. Jake Hager's livid. I would be, too. And Hager needs to be careful. This could result in disqualification. Oh, low bridge. Hager spills out. You better turn around, Dan Housen. Get him. Get him. Daddy Magic and Cool Hand Ange. They got the hat back. Good. Get your property back. Good. Oh, wait. Hook. He's got Red Room locked in on Parker. From behind, yet again. Classic hook. Sits back. And, oh, wait. Dan Housen rolls up Menard and gets Come the on. win. You got to be kidding me. Now we're going to this match. The team of Orange Cassidy, Hook, Trent Beretta, and Dan Housen. Well, Orange Cassidy, Trent Beretta, Dan Housen, Hook victorious in our opening contest. And right now, let's go back to the remarkable. Usual, unperturbed look on the face of Hook, who's coming out with a flurry of offense now. But Hook coming into this with a plan, swinging a miss there by Wheeler Yuta. Yuta tried to get the jump on him, but Hook regaining the advantage. Now, well, talking of the advantage, Chaz, the inaugural FTW champion, how do you use the rules to your advantage in this sort of match? Yeah, you, you just got it. You got it's a mixture. It's a weird mixture, Nigel, of wrestling and then bring in some, uh, bring some hardcore into it. That's the thing. You got to pick your spots with that. Yeah, maybe I coached up Hook a little bit on that, and that helped him become FTW champ. Maybe not. <laughs> This crowd here, this sold out crowd at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum here on Long Island. It's a big Uchimata coming, boys. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful evidence of his background in judo. And, and you know, the thing is, Yuta, as the pure champion, the pure title is the complete polar opposite, guys, as you know, of the FTW title. You know, with the rules on it and all of the. You know uh, the, the rules that are on that that pure title the best technical wrestler in the world holds the ring of honor pure title I should know Yes, sir a record reign holding that title. I've got to say I've been very impressed oh. with you with the unit since he has won the title for the third time, especially how he did it against Shibata. You mean with a low blow? With a low blow, he did it. Did what he had to do to win the title. And this is all legal. If you're not familiar with FTW rules, it's it's basically no disqualification, no count out. So that's why the referee is just there and Hook is just wearing out that forehead. Oh, nice chop there by Yuta. Yuta though fires back with the chop and now, uh-oh, it's coming. Creates some distance oh. and overhand oh. chop sticking the chest of Yuta. That's hand of doom right there, boys. Right. Well, Taz, you talked about Hook coming here in his youth. Spending so much time here in these allowed halls. Do you think that puts pressure on this young man, or does it give him some confidence? Well, he's a second generation wrestler, and, and there's pressure on you all the time. Watch out here! Oh, oh you to sent for a ride by Hook. Yeah, I mean, and I'll be honest with you, Nigel. I mean, Hook, it's gonna sound like whatever, I'm that dad, but I don't give a rat's ass. He loves pressure. The, the kid has loved pressure his whole life as an athlete. He really does, man. He loves it. I'm letting it out, baby. <laughs> As Hook, now right hand, staggers Wheeler Yuta back towards the ring. Yuta 
You're just looking for something, and it's against it's legal to grab these weapons. Oh, oh wow! Oh. And that was a haymaker shot there. The trash can lid. You just swing it for the fences with that one. Yeah, Hook kind of walked into it, not realizing. And it, oh, the irony. Yeah, really. And I mean, that's that's what Wheeler Yuta was talking about, though, Nigel. He's had so much experience in these, these no-rules situations, these vicious matches alongside the Blackpool Combat Club. Well, not only that, he said that he could have faced uh, Hook for the Ring of Honor Pure title, but he knew that he would beat Hook under yeah. those rules. So he threw <laughs> Hook a bone. He said, I'll fight you under FTW rules. Yeah, he never offered him that opportunity, yeah. though. Yeah. Hook would have He would have loved that opportunity for the Pure you title. Look at Yuta just grinding his boot to the back of Hook's head. But I've got to play devil's advocate here, Taz. You know, yes, Hook, very handsome young individual, a great competitor, a great champion. But there's no way that he beats the Ring of Honor pure champion under pure rules. Well, that's that's fine for you to say. You've earned your your opinion, and I respect it. And I think your opinion is incorrect. Because Yuta, had, hold on, it, it hold on right a second. Here. Oh, oh, I think Wheeler yeah. Yuta heard what you were saying. Taz, Taz said that he could. Oh, oh. you got to worry about me, son. You got to worry about that guy. In a Remarkable blue. restraint shown by Taz as Hook taking advantage of Wheeler Yuta taking his eye off the ball. Yeah, nice job there on that. Beautiful. The cover there as Yuta. Close. We're still trying to restore our desk. Apologies. Yeah, going crazy here. As the towel, there we go. We'll go get a little, little beverage here. As oh, wait a second. This guy's hitting my stuff on a stop sign. I'm over here cleaning up soda. Oh, oh, oh wow. Man. Yeah. Well, here's a question for you. Do you think the way that the rest of the Blackpool Combat Club have treated Wheeler Yuta have turned him into this man? Do you not think that arguably they have blood on their own hands? Uh, no, I, I think that Wheeler Yuta has evolved perfectly. Uh, in the Blackpool Combat Club, and they, they give they have given him tough love for sure. But I, I get what you're saying. But yeah, no, he's a hell of a competitor. He's always been. He was excellent. He just sits out the senton. Now going for a cover here. The chew. If you look at the members of the Blackpool Combat Club, the Fagan of the Blackpool Combat Club, Brian Danielson, mm. very emotionally abusive to this young man. Hold on, now he's trying to get you to watch it. Looks like he's going for a suplex on that. My trash that chair, yeah, yeah that Hook's bottoming out here. Nice! Good job on the counter. Hook countering out, and fans, we are less than 10 minutes away from World's End. Coming up on pay-per-view, order it on Bleach Report. For traditional cable and satellite providers internationally on Triller TV, ppv.com, Sky, YouTube.com. Well, the got him here. The light suplex, and Yuta able to kick out. Good kick out by Yuta. Excellent bridge and technique on the Northern Lights throw. Just scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. You can join us on Bleacher Report for World's End. Just over seven minutes away. Yeah, right now. Oh, going for the choke it. Oh, almost Red had rum. it. Almost got it. Oh, good arm drag counter. We have Wheeler Uta was prepared for Red Rum. And now the German suplex with the release, but hooked back up to his Popped feet. Popped up with that momentum. There's a German coming here. Oh, whoa. A little bit of delay. Trying to slam you to higher angle. Oof. But Yuta, he likes that low trajectory. Different As, type of German. There's a little higher coming here. Yeah, that's it. On the back of the head. And Yuta rolls through. Neither man with a clear advantage after this exchange. Yuta pulling himself up with the assistance of the ropes. And just fires off a big elbow strike. But Hook fires back. Both men, same idea. Both men go down. Yeah, they have, they have similarities in their physical style. And you can see it. These are two young, tough lions here. And you gotta assume who, which one of these athletes, Nigel, can get to their feet first could possibly have the advantage, possibly. Yeah, a slight advantage in the moment. The question is, though, what they will do with that advantage at this point in the match? What's going through their minds? Yeah, it's a tough part in the match when you, you know, you've been through it, Nigel. You know, when you get that physicality put on you back and forth. And the, the live house here yeah, behind the hometown guy. Nassau Coliseum coming alive, getting behind Hook on there's you know, biting. That's the that's the savagery he's learned in the Blackpool combat. All club. legal, all legal. No disqualifications. Yeah. Fisherman suplex, nice bridge there. Two and a good job on that fisherman. Excellent kick out by Hook, but that was a really good job by Yuta. I like it. 
And you can see the grimace of pain on the face of the cold hearted handsome devil on Hook's face. This has been a very physical match. Yeah, again, both of these men are physical, physical competitors. No matter if it's a hardcore version, like we're witnessing, or straight wrestling. They both, they're wow. hybrids, both of them. Judah's really putting a beating on Hook now. He's resilient. Hook could take it. He could take a lot of punishment. Oh. I promise you that. Gotta be hard for you to sit here and watch this. Yeah, it's hard. But you know what? Oh, he got caught. That's a high cradle, boys. Got the shoulder. Oh, he's moved. And oh, Yuta! Oh, Disastrous landing for Wheeler Yuta. Oh, he's gonna get the win. Hook's got him here, I think. Hook brings Yuta back towards center. Far leg. Is out. Oh, oh, Yuta able to kick out. Let's take another look here. This is a high cradle suplex. Underhook in the crook of the leg and right on on that trash can. Oh. And now Hook thinking red rum again. Yuta senses it. He's, yeah, he's got wrist control. Yuta does so. Hook don't have it locked completely yet. But so now maybe he's going to get it. As, oh, wait. Yuta turns his back in the oh. trash can. I think that's the only thing that saved Yuta from that red rum. Yeah, he had to do that. It was tough to watch, but it was smart by Wheeler to do that. Great awareness yeah. from the Ring of Honor Pua champion. As Yuta. Bringing Hook back upright. Bit of a hush falling over this sold out crowd here on Long Island as oh, we, Yuta gaining the yeah. advantage. You've seen this. DDT! Oh my God, on the stop sign. DDT on the stop sign. Yuta was looking for it earlier on the ramp, but he hit it center of the ring. You gotta be tough here. And now, Yuta. You gotta be tough. Two. Be tough. No. There you go. We were half a heartbeat away from crowning a new FTW champion. Yuta's beating a lot of people with that DDT. Sure has. We saw him this past week on Rampage. He caught Danhausen with that. Hook's rolling out of bounds here. And I think he got dinged up on that, that DDT. Oh, boy. He just got, he's got himself a little two-by-four. That might be a two-by-two. Two. Uh, what's Hook? Uh-oh. Hook <laughs> pulling something else uh -oh. from under the ring. A little smaller than a two-by-four, but... Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. swept his leg. It snapped the stick. He swept his leg so hard. And oh, oh just oh, oh, with the remnants. <laughs> Turned into a whoop of this. And you see Yuta, a little bit of blood over his eye just from all the physicality of this match. And now the hook by the red rum. But the is stick. locked in with the remnants of the stick. He's got the hooks in. It's for the one and only Hook. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time. Introducing first from St. Mark's Place, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the FTW champion. He is Hook. And of course, on Wednesday night, Hook Samoa Joe for all the marbles in championship so hook shows up tonight wants to work wants to get some reps in and not only that nigel may have found an opponent that kind of sort of will make up some of the size differential that he'll see against samoa joe on wednesday Finally, hook is going to have to negate a big size disadvantage as he goes up against kevin matthews one of jim ross's young proteges in the industry km is the real deal He's heard all the critics. Yeah. KM also known as the heat seeking oh. wrestler. And Hook oh, moved down the way. Look at that. Pick up. That's technique. That is hip drive. That's what it is. A cold-hearted, handsome devil saw Matthews coming and straight away suplex him all over the ring like his father. Hook just waiting for KM to get back in the ring. And I'm telling you right now, Hook. It was a tremendous lacrosse, a D1 lacrosse player, known for not only his size. Whoa, look at this. Oh! That's ruthlessness. That's what it's going to take to beat Samoa Joe. Of course it is. And one thing he's got going for him is great cardiovascular conditioning. Well, he's got all the confidence and attitude yes, of masculine youth. And the fans here. 
The fans here behind him, they think he can beat Samoa Joe. Oh, here we go. If he does this to Joe, perhaps, if he can hook the submission. Man, he's laid him in, guys. There it is. And just like that, 29 and 1. But will Samoa Joe be number 30? Or will he be number two? The second man to defeat this young man. I'll see you Wednesday. See you Wednesday indeed. Last Wednesday, Hook showed Samoa Joe. No fear stepping to the AEW champion. This Wednesday, perhaps Joe will instill some in him.